Yeah. Is that working now? Yeah, I had to get rid of one because I just couldn't figure out what the fuck was going on. Okay, so they still can hear me? Yeah. A voice meter, right? Yeah, there you go. You didn't change- you haven't streamed in so long you changed your audio settings, I forgot. Yeah, I thought I fixed it before stream and then it disabled it when I started the stream. Sorry, folks. Yeah, I was like, what's going on? So I thought my microphone was broken or something was wrong, but then it just mute myself wouldn't now. work. So sorry that yeah. took so long. Usually doesn't take that long to start the stream. But my microphone disabled itself. <laughs> so... What was I saying? Oh uh, yeah, I'm playing Unpacking today, because I don't really know what else to play. And I just wanted to chat with people. Yeah. So, hello. Hello everybody. I'm just playing game. We all chat. If you guys have then? questions and stuff- You can stay, Davis. Alright. You uh, might hear a bit of a worrying thing in the background. It's very hot down here. Well, there's too much going on for the audience to hear it, probably. Oh, probably. So, if anybody has questions or stuff, or we could just chat about random shit, you know? That could be fun. Could be. Cute, there we go. I'm decorating bedrooms. Not related, but you and Reed know how to... Yeah, welcome uh, to my stream, by the way. Where we we're not here for talk about, talk about, that. about <laughs> that stuff. This is Cat's stream. Here for Cat and all that. But, yeah. Happy that's happening, but again, just, just try to keep questions focused on Cat's things and all that. Cat, your VTuber model is cute. Thank you. Don't mind me. Sometimes when I move my face down, it looks like I'm sad, but I'm actually just scratching my nose. Or you're just, or you're like looking down, you know, like, you know when you like have your head turned up and like your eyes are like looking down or something. Yeah, and then it hurts, so you just do this. Yeah. yeah. And you look like a psychopath. Yeah. I do that when driving sometimes. I really, sh it's a bad habit. I should break. But yeah. I've seen that you graduated. I graduated. Um, with a gra with a graphic design degree. So I'm a ma I majored in graphic design. Yeah. Make my mama proud. <laughs> and yeah. Let's see. Oh, That's by the way, yes, points are disabled right now until Cat wants to use them whenever she wants. Yeah, I I kind of haven't turned those on in a while because I just keep forgetting to turn them on. But then, you know, today I just want to chat with you guys as myself. And I'm just tired. Yeah, Davis is just tired. I got up early to buy fucking the, the Ragnarok collector's edition shit. And you succeeded. I did. Before the scalpers got it. I got it a minute before it, it sold out, by the way. That's really cool. Yeah, at least on the Sony Direct site. But still. Oh, you wanna know what's bullshit, by the way, on that whole thing? Hmm. I, I couldn't access the website on my on my fucking desktop. So I had to do it on my phone. Oh. It was very it was a very intense process for me. I bet. <laughs> Scary process too, but yeah. Let's see what we can chat about, because we have a lot of people in here today. Yeah. And a lot of people. I didn't expect to get I think some people, people here don't know who you are because of Sun and Moon, so if you want to go ahead and like explain that and all that, that'd probably be pretty good. I was trying to see if I could do borderless, but it's okay. It's um, been a while since you've streamed anyway, so it'd probably be yeah. good. Yeah, well, hello everybody. My name is Cat, Queen Cat. Um, 
I've been doing YouTube for a while, and I decided to do streaming. I've been streaming for a while, but now I'm doing VTubing, because that's fun. Um, let's see, uh, I assist in a lot of channels, um, so you've probably heard my voice as many characters. I've played Baby for the famous films, um, and Davis. I also played Cat for a lot of shit, as did for Davis. Um, that's mainly I me, yeah. I did play Vanny for Sun and Moon. Uh... That's about it. So, I do a lot of stuff. I have my own stuff. I have my own roleplay channel where I produce my own content. Um, and yeah. You should check it out. Queen Cat Productions. <laughs> so yeah, that's my whole spiel. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm, I'm continuing to uh, decorate this child's bedroom. Horses. Yeah. Right there. You had a couple questions, by the way. You mind if I read them off? Yeah, go ahead. Cat, for the Karina series, are you going to continue like after the camp? So I guess after Morse's thing. If that doesn't and all that. A lot of people seem to think that I'm gonna be, like the the the, the, the things are gonna be staying the same. I'm gonna. I have yeah. a lot of ideas for Karina, and there's a lot of things that are gonna happen. We barely even scratch the surface of what's gonna happen. So take from that whatever you want. So <laughs> that's my answer. <laughs> yeah. I like being cryptic sometimes. Yeah. So far, the ca the series as it is right now is canon to the to the main story. So. If that helps in any regard, there's that. Yeah, there's that. There's that uh, answer for you. It is canon to Morse. I love that. Yeah, this is canonically Morse's backstory. I'm gonna put these fucking horses right next to each other. Hey, Cat, do you have a f favorite character for role plays? Honestly, the favorite character like that I get or that I have when I play characters or like anything I do. It just depends on the day. Like, some days I'm like, oh my god, I love Karina the most. She's my favorite. Other days I'm like, dude, I really like Lady Cecilia. She's my favorite. Or, you know, oh, I like Fairy Tail Cat. I love her the most. It just kind of changes with the day. Because I'm very, like, you know, I don't, I, I don't have, like, a favorite child all the time. If that makes any sense. My yeah. favoritism dips and wanes, you know? <laughs> it does that. What's your favorite episode from any series you've done, though? Ah, uh, that's a little hard. I've done a lot of series, so this is a little tricky to just decide one see one episode from every series. That's fair. Can I say can I say one from me then? Sure. All right, my favorite episode that I've done in a series is probably one of the more simplistic ways that we've done a fight scene. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think you know what I'm talking about here. Yeah. But, um... <clears throat> so, um, in Fairy Tale, um, Davis and Kat had a fight, like, um, you know, sparring and all that, right? Yeah. But... But, um... It was clearly obvious that we didn't, like do anything too major but um i don't think many people know that we didn't talk for that fight when we were doing shit they just, they, because they probably don't um instead what we did was we recorded it twice technically one time it was just us doing the magic shit because if we tried talking it would it would you know, we'd get distracted or something it wouldn't be as good and the second time was just us looking over the footage and talking and role playing and all that because it's it was something we could do and I tested it and we did it and it actually turned out pretty well like better than I thought it would. I did but, see a lot of comments yeah. that were like, "This is I waited for this." Uh, it's like, you know how hard it is to make a fight scene, man. Like you I don't, know, I'm not, I don't, wanna... I'm not even that popular of a fucking creator, like yeah. in general. Believe me, I'd be paying people fucking millions if I could to make shit for me. It's like they expect aftermath levels of content or style, you know, quality, quality. 
Mm. First thing that's, you know, that. Yeah, it was decent. And in the future, I'll probably be doing that stuff again. Just in case, like, this is the last minute. I don't think I can get this made. And I don't want to, like, spend hours doing this shit. So we're just going to do it like this, etc., etc., etc. But yeah. Cat, do you have an idea? Of my favorite uh, scene? Ooh, look, scandalous. Or just episode. Episode, yeah. Um. Oh, by the way, you're still sharing your screen. Oh, I am? That'd be yeah. good if I didn't do that. There you go. Um, let's see. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't really... Let's just let's stick it to your series, right? Yeah, my series then. Okay. Um... I think it would have to be, like, one of the episodes of Karina. Really? Yeah, I, I put a lot of effort into Karina. That's fair. I, I thought I thought it was going to be when Bonnie came back. Honestly, that, that was really good, too. But I had a headache afterwards from the crying. <laughs> so, like, you know, maybe that knocks at a few points. Probably. I mean, you were crying. But yeah, I had to get into character. Yeah. I'm a performer, you see. Yeah. Uh, so what, what, what episode of Karina is on? Um, I'm kind of like... Uh, I really liked the first one. And also the, the episode one? where she meets Thanatos and Morse for the first time. Oh. Yeah, those two were good. Because honestly, I think it's the nostalgia. I, I was really excited. It was the f like, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's this is like a big deal. <laughs> yeah. And I worked really, I worked really hard on like planning things and you know figuring out the story and like, you know, I was like, oh, this is my baby, and it's finally happening. Yeah, it's 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 hard. It's but it's, it's exciting at the same time, you know. Yeah. Yeah. When is Bonnie episode coming out? You mean Bonnie's Adventures or FNAF Adventures? Whatever the fuck I call it. Or like my stuff? Because <laughs> Bonnie's yeah, on my stuff now. <laughs> yeah, if, if you're speaking about FNAF Adventures, I'm kind of done with that. Like, the channel, not not the series, the reboot or whatever. I should probably, I, I'm glad I should have clarified that. Yeah. That sounded bad. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, um,. FNAF Adventures will come when I want it to. I'm just very busy. And also I'm making other stuff that I want to do. Kat knows that. She's going to be in it. Yep. I think she'll enjoy it. In the meantime, I'll be right back real quick. Okay. Uh, let me ask a question real quick, actually. Uh... Funniest blooper. That happened in recording or something. Anyways, I'll be back now, okay? Love you. Uh, okay. Um, every... F okay, whenever there's, like, a really funny blooper, I always include it in the video. Like, always. And if it's nothing I've done, um, if it's a blooper for me... Hmm. I can't remember every blooper off the top of my head. So, if there's any, like, body actors in the chat or voice actors who remember any funny moments... Let me know, because we've had some good ones. I'm a bit new here. Um, is there a video that explains how you two meet? Um, I can just say it, because, you know, people are new here. There's a lot of new people here, I think, so... Sorry to the old people here to hear my, you know, love story once again. So, basically, Davis and I met when um, I voice acted for Baby for the famous films, and Davis applied to be Freddy, and I met him. Davis uh, was introduced to us. Um, he's like, alright, this is the new voice actor for Freddy. Say hi, because they didn't want us to hear how he sounded, because it was, like, really good. So then Davis just goes, hello, and in his, like, really deep voice, and I'm like, oh my god, I want to have your babies. And he's like, okay, it's nice to meet you too, I think. It was a little, it's a little weird. And I was like, okay... <laughs> Like, I've just never had anybody tell me that before. So I'm like, oh, okay. I, I just, it's a thing I, okay. I'm just, <laughs> that's how we first met. Me being a fucking weirdo. Mm. 
Love the more stuck in the ground one. That's pretty funny. That was like a complete accident too. Look at us. We got different places to set up here. Look how fun this is, gang. Look, I have a little mug. Deodorant. Perfume. Hairbrush. That goes there. That goes there. Okay, there's the other bra. Can you not pack anything in the right fucking box? Anyway, um, what character have you played do you think has the most development? Um, hmm. For my series, my channel, um, I'd say, you know, for now I'm gonna say Ozo. Because Ozo was a lot different, um, but he's going through a lot. So, I mean, like, way before, if anybody's watched the fucking thing, they'd know that, you know, Oto used to be really distressed over Tikva. Hey. And now he's kind of chilled the fuck out a bit over it. Hello. I'm talking about characters that uh, I think have had the most, like, you know, character development. I said Oto, but I'm, I'm sure there's another one that has more development than Oto. If... You want me to be like like in your series? Yeah, that. my series. Yeah. Hmm. It's a little harder. Also, it's been good. Yeah, I can't pick any specific one. Yeah. I try to Ulta's get all my good. characters to fucking you know have a. Little but bit a of different change. cat will also have great character development, more better than Oso, and you know which one I think. I think so. A certain cat. <clears throat> Mirror cat. <laughs> Anyways, I brought a little friend with me. Oh! I think he's just looking at me in annoyance right now, but Father, still. Why must you take me here? If anybody wants to guess, I have a black little pussy on me. Can you not say that? It's a pussy cat. Yeah, it's a cat. It's a cat. I. I it was. A, it's a. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a, it's a, it's a, a metaphor. Yeah, it's a. Just. Just say cat next time, man. Uh Okay. Is the backroom series gonna make an appearance in Oats on Derby? Probably, if Cat wants to do a one off thing, but we're never making a series out of that. Yeah, again. Backrooms is not I don't think is ever gonna get a fucking another season. Nope. It's done. You'd think a series so like handy. like that would be pretty, you know Decent. Decent, but it just wasn't. <laughs> Yeah. There wasn't really anything we could do to salvage it. Yeah. Ah. Midnight. Okay, I just have toothpaste on the floor and a random fucking boot. It's great. And then... There we go. Looking great so far. Looking snazzy. Future episode of Derpy Notes, so will there be new maps? There will be. It's all getting planned out. It's all getting planned out. Your character looks so sad, cat. Oh, sorry, I was laser focused on like put the thing away, put the thing where everything go, put the thing. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm not sad. You're a piece <laughs> of shit, aren't you? You're a little bitch, ain't you, you little bitch? Yeah. Yeah, you're a little piece of shit. Why are you talking to him like that? Because he is. He's a little piece of shit. The back rooms is how I got into your channel, Cat. That's a well, surprise. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. It's just a surprise, though, since considering the series didn't do good in general for either of us. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, Cat was the only person that finished it. I, I gave up on it almost like five. I six wanted to give in. it an ending at the very least. And you I was did. like, Davis, can I give it a happy Because, you know, I'll be honest, Davis and I are polar opposites when it comes to content. I like giving a happy ending whenever I can. Davis is like, I'd like to fucking stab people in the chest. So I'm like, well, can Davis, can, can I make this a happy ending? He's like, go for it, I don't give a shit. I'm like, okay, happy ending it is. Yeah. Everybody's gonna like it, hopefully, that's that what I'm you giving do with, a happy uh, ending. That's what you do with Toby. Well, yeah. It's yeah. realistic. Yeah, also it's kind of needed. 
Yeah. You plan to get in a VTuber? The thing is, man, I'm I don't have eyes. So I don't know how that fucking works. I still work. think it would work. I've seen a guy VTube with as like a black void. I think it would work. You just need to have funny express maybe sharpie expressions. Or maybe I just don't have eyes in general. That that's that is my whole brand after yeah, all. Yeah, maybe you just don't have eyes and maybe like for expressions. They could just, just I mean technically like, they, they, they don't need to draw eyes. They they like, the expressions are all in the eyebrows for the most part, anyways. Yeah. I still say you should do it. Oh my fucking god, I've been telling out? Davis to do it. <laughs> He's passing out on me. <gasps> Midnight is passing out on Davis, guys. Slowly. Surely. I can't move. Fuck. Well, that's your fault. Damn it. You put right. it on you. <laughs> Dead. That's what happens. What? Cat's passing out? Yeah, I, I understand that. I have an orange one that passes out on me all the time. That's me. I just fall asleep that is very me. often. I know. Fucking, I'll hold you, watch a movie or something. You fucking shoulder, you're just like, you know, sleeping on my shoulder or some shit afterwards. And I'm dead. Let's see, your what is shit. other- what other questions? How do you create your online character? I think that's to you? Um, Ooh. well, let me give you the several iterations I had. So, my online character, I, I didn't have, like, a- you know, like, it's- this is based off my Minecraft character. So, <laughs> um, when I was starting off, I- I- when I- okay, this is how I got Minecraft, this is a long story. I was basically- I roleplayed with some people on a, like, fanfiction website, and one day they're like, hey, do you have a Minecraft account? Because I have a server, and it'd be really cool if we could roleplay there. I'm like, um, I can go get one. And <laughs> they're so like, okay. So then I bought one, and I got an account, and I didn't have a skin. I was like, I don't want to be a man- I don't want to be Steve. I want to be, like, a pretty person. So I became a rainbow ah. person. I became a rainbow girl. What the fuck? I didn't like Asshole. Rainbow Girl, and so... Sorry, then I just, like, hopped okay, off of me. okay, just interrupted my story. I'm sorry, keep going. So, then I was like, I don't want to be Rainbow Girl, so then I created a new character, uh, where, uh, I was half human, half Enderman, and I had pink hair, pale skin, purple eyes. You can see where the character of Derpy came from. I made a joke character out of that. I didn't like it forever. I was like, you know what? I want to make myself. So I made myself with like green eyes, and I was like, this is good. And then I wanted, to, and then for another series, I made myself like red-eyed to be evil. And I was like, I kind of like the red eyes more. So then I just stuck with the red eyes, and the bow and yeah. everything else. I just like bows, and I thought it was cute. Can you believe people say I've been stealing like care, like you know, the designs of other fucking people? <laughs> Ashley. Yeah. They're like, oh, you're stealing what Ashley looks like, or you're doing this. I'm like, you know, I I designed Ashley's shit, but all right. <laughs> yeah. It was weird. Yeah. Don't mind I'm still fucking. Putting all this stuff away. Your laser focused on, on organizing. Yes. <sighs> you know, technically you're supposed to have any pesticides and all that at the bottom of the thing. Make you feel better? Feel more safe? Feel secure? Feel, you still, yeah. feel safe here? Yeah. I mean, it'd be, it'd just like if, if any of them breaks open somehow or something, it would spill onto nothing important. Well, I'm glad you feel safe now. And the towels and the hand soap too, but you know. What? 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 Okay. That was being funny. I don't know what you said. I was actually genuinely asking what. Oh. 
and you just were like, what? A lot of the time when I ask you what, you'll just start saying what back at me, so I just go, okay, because I don't know what the fuck you said, and I'm just like, okay, he clearly doesn't want to repeat it again. Nice. Next. This is my college dorm room. By the way, complete side note, remember when Premiere Chat fucked over and almost made you guys lose the FNAF series on Davis's channel? Remember that? I'd like to know why the fuck did like a few of you come to my channel and beg me to tell Davis to not do it? It's fucking weird, I'll be completely honest. <laughs> I exist as an extension of Davis. Apparently. <laughs> oh, Davis, this is a pretty good one for you. Have you had anything interesting video game related happen to you recently? Like a new game or anything coming out? Oh, yeah, totally. I mean, I bought God of War Ragnarok, the uh, Jotnar edition. The, the best version, apparently, of the Collector's Edition. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened, lol? Oh. Sweet summer child, you weren't there for the massacre. Yeah. Long story short, I'll be on- Okay, this is a good topic, honestly. Fucking... Like... I don't really know how to segue it, like, or start it, but like... It's- it's kind of hard to please everybody, you know what I mean? People have, like, weird expectations, and if you don't stick by those expectations... It's like, why bother? Or... You know what I mean? Yeah, it's weird. I don't want to keep harping on it and make people feel bad about it, obviously, but like, you know what happened? I feel like it could be talked about. Yeah, it could be talked about. Shit happened. Do you want to go into detail about it? Because I don't... Yeah. Basically, there were rude ass people in uh, Davis's FNAF stream and were like critiquing, like, oh my god, Molten Freddy has a different design? It wasn't even critiquing, it was just complaining. Well, no, they think it was critiquing. It was actually them just screaming about how ugly everything was and that uh, they don't like it and uh, they hate it. It's like, um, okay. <laughs> But why? And they don't give you a reason why. They're just like, I just don't like it. And you're just like, oh, okay, I guess. <laughs> there we go. It's cute. Where do you guys work? Uh, online. At home. <laughs> So, really... The safest place. Yeah, pretty safe here. <laughs> yeah. Before people, like, actually say anything, we are dating, by the way, because I, I think people get that confused a lot. People think somehow, we're married. Still. People think we're engaged. Uh, somebody asked if we actually are dating because, you know, it's like... Or is it like a, just a roleplay thing? Uh, it's a... It's, we are... It's a, it's a thing. We are... We are a thing. <laughs> Have been for the past three or so years. Am I getting that right? Yes, I am. Yes. Don't screw this up on stream, otherwise people will think you don't care. <laughs> Hold up. Where is that damn pen? Yeah, it is right there. Three years. And a half, about, at this point. Yeah. Yeah, we've been dating for a bit, so we've been lucky to have, get the job that we have. Ah. I'm happy though. Yeah. I think Kat is too. I am too. I'm just, just I don't know what else to uh, talk about. That's fair. Where do you, you guys live? Have any Why? Do you want to fucking general? come over? <laughs> you guys live together? Uh, not yet. Yeah. Not yet. We're figuring out stuff. 
I just still. graduated college. I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah. Nice. Sorry, that was me looking over at my screen. I have three screens now, three monitors. It's really, you know... Technically four. Yeah, technically four. But that one's off. Yeah, I have that one off. Majority of the time. <sighs> That's nice. Hmm. Nothing, just relaxing. Just chilling out. Not doing anything too much exciting or whatnot. Cat, can I send fan art both on Twitter and Discord? Dude, you can yes. post it anywhere you want. <laughs> I was thinking about getting a hashtag made for me to like see fan art and all that. Because I don't think a lot of people like show fan art. You know? Yeah. And I think you should probably get the same in case people want to do something with you and all that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Y'all having a good day? We had a good day. We just finished working. Yeah, we literally just finished working, something. so like, four monitors seems excessive. One of them, okay, I'll say, this isn't a monitor, it connects to my TV, and I use it to show my parents, or, you know, anybody, anybody comes over, like, what I'm doing on my computer, because they don't yeah. understand it. And also, if I'm using, you know, VR, if anybody wants to come in my room and hang out while I'm doing it, they can see my screen better, and see what I'm seeing. It, I don't use it, it's a fourth monitor, but it's a TV. <laughs> Yeah, weren't you gonna give me that or something? I was just like, why the fuck would you? Yeah, I was that? like, I was. My dad was like, does Davis want this? Because that's your office now. I yeah. And he's like, does Davis want to use this at all? And I'm like, I don't. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Is this just me who finds this game fucking amazing? Uh, I'm in the zone right now. Let's see, is there anything else I have to put away? Oh yes, my entire bedroom! I forgot about this! <laughs> Oh, you gotta drink water, and you got a story time. Oh. What's you something someone said to you that you thought, wow, that's pretty sus? Just drink water? Um, let me think. I've honestly met a few people, and I'm like, that's pretty sus. It's mostly, like... Oh. Oh. Thank someone you for the bits. bits. Thank you. Thank you for the biddies. Thank you for the biddies, Chrysalis94. I hope I pronounced that right. Yeah, I think you did. Anyways, baby. Um. Whenever I get, like, a bad vibe about somebody, or, like, I just get bad vibes off people. I don't really get, like, a, oh, that's sus. Unless it's, like, if I'm on TikTok and it's, like, women are not allowed to have Instagram, but I can. Because if she has Instagram, she's looking to cheat. But it's okay if I have it. I'm like, that's pretty fucking sus. But like, you I'm know. Talking about that fucking asshole, like, has that like that that one good bad bro good bro podcast shit. I'm talking about. There's more than just that guy. I, there was this one guy who said that um, if you're in a relationship, your girl can't have an OnlyFans, and if she does, she has to give you all of her money, all of the money she makes off of it. And then if people I are like, think that's why? A conversation no, 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 no. He says girlfriend. that the reason she should be giving all of her money to him is because he's her property. Like, she's his property, and she has to do whatever the fuck he says. And so then, it's like, but you can do it then, right? You can make it. And he's like, yeah, because the woman is the property and not him. 
And they're like, well, do you see why people think you're a fucking misogynist then? <laughs> I, I have not, issues uh... with what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Okay, that's something. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh hey Lana. Hey Lana. Jesus Christ, that that is that sounds horrible. <laughs> that's fuck. like genuinely what people think though, and that's kinda of fucking scary. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the scary thing. And I don't give a shit if people do OnlyFans in their relationship. That's their business. I don't give a shit. I don't care. Talk to you. But like, talk if to it's like, each other. if it's like, if you do an OnlyFans, I you need to give me all your money, all the money you make off of it because you're my property. That's a different conversation. <laughs> that is a yeah. what did you just say to me conversation? <laughs> Davis, when can we see your face? When I pass, when I become the number one YouTuber, which will never be a thing. So. That, that's your answer. Anyway, well, there's a lot of pressure around being a faceless YouTuber. Hmm? There's a lot of pressure about being a faceless YouTuber. Yeah, like, there's always like I think I think somebody like pretended to leak Corpse's fucking like picture or like but it wasn't actually him. And people were he just saying fucking... how fucking ugly he was and whatever the fuck it's like Yeah. Well, you guys wanted to see it so bad, first off, I feel like you should be chill with whatever the fuck you get, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, they'll never be chill about it, Cat. Yeah, unfortunately. I <laughs> just slammed the door on my fucking open drawer. I'm so smart. Oh, also, this whole sus part, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. They don't support women's rights. If they don't support women's rights. Did I say that right? I think you did. I just didn't know what to say. <laughs> okay. It just went if silent. they support women's rights, that's a good, that's a green, that's a green sign there. Yeah, that's if a If they one. don't, it's a fucking red flag. Yeah. Watching you organize is so fucking, like, a bit hypnotic. Right? I'm hypnotized right now. I hope I'm hypnotizing everybody else with this amazing shit. Yeah. <laughs> what? Get out of here. What happened? Don't worry about it. kind of want to worry about it. <laughs> I guess someone's promoted themselves a little bit. Oh, well, of course. Oh, oh my god. I just- I just saw it. Can I read that, actually? That's hilarious. If you want to. It's up Hello, to you. lady. I am a single bachelor from Raj Ranjab, province of India. I am looking for Western Bride to give me green card to U.S. of A. Please, that can you assist? What where was that at? Claire deleted it like four months ago, and I just noticed it now. What the fuck? That is the funniest shit I've ever seen. How come I have never seen that? That honestly where is this made at? my. This is in my fucking. Li I could send a picture of it to you, Claire. How come you never told me that that happened? You fucking bitch. That is the funniest thing ever. Hold on, I'm taking a screenshot of that. That's good. That's good shit. I don't know if that's serious or not. It, I, there was like heart eyes emojis right after it. I'm pretty sure it looks it looks legit. <laughs> oh my god. I, I got it. Is, was, was it like a banned message on your Twitch or something? Yeah, it's on my, like, on my Twitch. They got like the clear to leave the message. The oh, fuck? I have no idea how to react to that. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck you deleted, because I immediately looked in the fucking mod actions thing, thinking you deleted a comment or something, or a message. No, it was, it was some guy promoting something on your YouTube, but now this is interesting me more. What yeah. is that? <laughs> I just got proposed to. 
four months ago. And my what? delayed response is no. <laughs> Can I marry you instead? I mean, I would prefer anything other than, you know, a single bachelor from Rajiv province of India who just wants a green card to the US of A. Oh my god, he knows. My guy doesn't. Jesus Christ. Well, he, he picked a good woman, but, uh, the wrong I mean, one, too, because they're actually, mine. No, he did not pick a good woman to pick. I mean, that, that, that is a... The, the I clearly don't look at chat enough to unsee that message. <laughs> that is fucked up. This is a good day, right, guys? That was pretty entertaining. How the fuck is I supposed to... How is I supposed to react to that? I don't know. I was just like, wait a minute, what the fuck is this? <laughs> U.S. of A, Mac. That is the United States of America, in case you're stupid. We can be just gentle to Mac. Sometimes Mac is, gets confused. I know. You got, you got two more drink waters, by the way. I will in a minute. Okay. I'm kind of in my zone right now. My my fucking sorting zone. I have a lot of channel points, by the way. You do? Yeah. Please don't... Because if you do more than one drink water, I'm just going to count it as one drink water. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm not going to do it. Oh, my me? God. <laughs> nope, that's... You got another drink water. Nice. Well, she's gonna take a big old sip, guys, and then just... Yeah, here comes my big sip. Singular. Big sip. Big, big sip. Now I go back to sorting my book. What the fuck is this shit? Ah, thanks, Claire. Everything good? Yeah, it's good. It's good. You know, we could talk about the series that's in the works. I don't think some people here know about it anyways, so it'd be cool. Yeah, it would be pretty cool to talk about. Yeah. In case um, you don't know Kat, actually, I'm going to go ahead and just get her her main YouTube channel. Um, where the fuck is you? Where is you? There you is. Kat is leading a channel called Queen Cat Productions. It is her own channel. And she has a lot of series on it, mainly roleplay, mainly story-based. It's not like we go funny, funny, haha, -ha a lot, but still, there's some funny moments. In there, we are making this. We are making a series together for both her channel and mine. Yep. If you want to know what series it is, it is. I think I already announced this a, a little while ago, but it is. It is uh, my Hero Academia series. A continuation off of a another series of uh, My Hero Origins. For us. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Right, everyone? Pretty chill. Yeah. I like that when you posted that motivation thing on Twitter, people you actually were thinking people. Well, that, but also people were thinking that you really needed motivation and you want to take a break. No, yeah, they, they, they did think that. They don't think they watched the video I fucking put in. Yeah, I don't think they did. <laughs> motivation, motivation, you can do more and better. Motivation, motivation. Okay, you watch you deserve. Fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Fucking. Fuck off. Okay. By the way, so this is the game unpacking is basically we're we're we are helping we are you know the this girl, and she's just moved in with her shit boyfriend, and this is why you men ladies you can now tell if your man is shit or woman is shit or whatever the fuck shit like this. This man did not make any space for her. Look. Look, he is spreading everything out. You know this, the phrase, man spread? This is the man. 
This is- Like, look at this. He doesn't need to do this shit right here. But he did. He also doesn't need to do this. Put it in the same drawer. Like a fucking... And then this! You don't need this! Don't for also, Rosie was just in here. But look at this! Rosie is cat's dog, by the way. Yeah. Th there's just... Oh, look at all these bulls! This yeah. man's like a fucking freak. If I'm, if I got, if I if live, that is a single ap bed apartment, practically. I think this man's gonna kill me. I, I don't I'm think he'll kill I'm you. I'm grateful it's, just... it's clean and like there's not dirty dishes everywhere, but the fact that like th this is too like perfect. Like, like look, this is like they're perfectly like a, like distance from each other on the fucking counter. Like, yeah. there's just so much- Like this! There's a whole- You wanna see the, the fucking worst thing? Huh. That is a psychopath. It is not in the side, it is not near the front, it is just in the square middle of it. Nice. Also, the shampoo- Okay, I'm gonna start here. Fuck this man. We're gonna fucking discover we need a bet. we're gonna get a better print man. Is when did you learn to do voice thing on FNAF? What does that mean? I don't know what like that when did I start voice acting on FNAF? Or when did I start voice acting in general? I don't know. Hmm. I think it was voice acting in general. I just kind of did it one day. No real reason. I just did. Men did not make space for me. No, they did not. I would be so pissed. I fucking moved out of my goddamn apartment with my friends, my D and D buddies, to come and be squished in in this house because you don't want to throw shit away. How fucking dare you? It is so packed already. Like shit. Oh, it gets worse, by the way. I'm gonna show you how worse it gets living in this man's fucking apartment. This guy sucks. First off, let me sort his underwear, because he couldn't be asked to do that. There, I, I color coordinated it, too. You're welcome. Look at me. Look at this. And then, because your ties are taking up so much space, they're underneath your socks. There we go. Now you take one space. I need to take more because you just, it's fair. <laughs> He's kind of cringe, not gonna lie. Yeah, this guy's pretty cringe. Look at my nice pajamas, though. These look nice. And then socks. This is my sock. Drawer. And underwear drawer. Because you know what? Might as well put them in the same place. Look at that. That's not realistic. Nobody has two sets of the same fucking anything. Like, it's a little creepy that she does. And then, do I work at the Apple store? Why do I. Or, what? what is. What is this? Why, why do I have, like, a logo shirt? Maybe you do? I mean, you probably have some work attire or something. You probably need work attire or something. He has his shit hanging up. Yeah, By the way, but this man could put his fucking loafers underneath there. That's all I'm gonna say. You continue? Um... Couple questions, I guess. What do you do with a body actor in a Minecraft roleplay? You wanna answer that? You just body act. Yeah, you just pretend to play, like... Like, if Davis and Taro are in, the, are in the same fucking scene, obviously Davis can't play both, so you just play Taro. Yeah. So that's that, really. He really has not made a fucking effort, has he? Who? Like this guy. Yeah, he didn't. Not even for your fucking diploma. Yeah, like, there's literally no wall space to hang this up. God. Alright. I do 
like this cardigan though. This. That All right. See you, Lana. Nice to see this thing. Bye. Bye, Lana. Also, someone's asking if I went to college. You? Yeah. You know what? I did go to college. I went there for two years, and your boy dropped the fuck out because I don't I can't do it. I can't. I I can't do it. I just I don't care for college. Someone else here though, did finish their college, and I'm very proud of them. Thank you, Davis. I like this shirt. That is a that is a cute shirt right there. All right, let's see. Um, let's keep. Will going the Last of Us series be going on one channel? Yes, cat's not cat's not doing that one. It's strictly my channel. Right? Yeah. We just we just went silent. Yeah, cause I'm kind of. I, this guy has like his Xbox games, like his four. Is this Call of Duty? I can't tell. It's too pixelated. Yeah, this is Call of Duty. Okay. That doesn't shock me at all. Actually, it's a bigger red flag that that's the only four games he fucking has. He only has four games and they're all COD? Yeah. That was COD, and that's Halo. I think one of them was probably Gears of War, but I don't think you know what that one is. I don't care. It's just taking up fucking space. I just... Why do we have coasters like that are right there? Here's my little D and D figurine because she plays fucking D and D. Okay, here's more DVDs. Which makes her cool. I think she's pretty fucking red. Yeah. She has sock. There is sock. Oh. That's up. Cat. What? Someone's asking an important question about Otso. What about it? Will Otso maybe, probably, be a future grandpa duck? Maybe. Maybe. Mm. These are pretty, they're going pretty nice with Maribel, so maybe. Yeah. You haven't seen behind the scenes of that? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> this is like a lot of stuff here. Oops, I didn't mean to drag that guy's- is that- did he put it on its side? Or is that how it was Can supposed you? to be? One minute, I'm just- I'm trying to- there's so much stuff in here, not enough space for me to put everything. I have all these sketchbooks, because I'm an artist. Is that your GameCube, or like- That's mine. Okay. I have nowhere to put it yet, because I have to move- Because this man is like, this is how he had it before. And this- he has it on its side, because he wants to take up as much space as possible, and I can't stand it up. Jesus Christ. So that goes there, and then, hello, there's mine. I don't think this guy was ready at all to get into a relationship. I mean, not move in together. There's they not enough space traveled. for both of them. They traveled? Yeah, look. That's like a travel photo, I think. Oh. So huh. that's a little fucking... They've probably been together for a while. She's gonna move into his house. Or his apartment. Yeah, but like... And by the like way, the, the nice like view. A, it is pretty good. Even when you shower. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. Can you say something in the Bonnie voice, Davis? No. Oh, hey, uh, no, no, I will. If you give Cat, like, 500 bits, I will. Anyways, though, until then... I'll just be here hanging with Cat. I like that my little my, my 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 little my little gal here fucking travels. She's gone to like uh London, fucking the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the Eiffel Tower. She's really lived it up yeah. a little. Hey, dude, if you keep asking the same question, I'm just gonna ban you. See like five times already. Not answering. What? What answer? Well, some guy keeps asking a stupid question. Doesn't matter. Oh, okay. How long does it take an episode for you to write? 
like it how does... long it takes us to write an episode. Yeah, like to write like an episode. I think probably that's the question. Yeah. You wanna go? You can go ahead. Um writing episodes is it can be either the easiest thing to do or the hardest. Um So sometimes we go into this this how to describe this? So, sometimes when we do things, it's very easy. Like, okay, we're doing this next. Okay, then it makes sense to do this, and then it makes sense if we do this afterwards, and all that kind of stuff. But sometimes it's it's just um after the storm is cleared, after the the conflict's been resolved or whatever, it's what do we do next, kind of thing. Yeah. And. That's the hardest part to get past, because Cat needs help sometimes figuring out what to do after a major plot point. Sometimes I need help figuring out what to do after a major plot point, because we can't just, like, sit around and do nothing, basically. Otherwise, it would be a very, very boring fucking series. Yeah. So, it, it, it's not... It can be hard, but it doesn't take us forever to come up with something. It's not like an arduous process that 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 we've that we you know spend days doing or something like that. We spend I think at most a couple hours writing episodes, or at least planning them out for each other and all that. And we have to be very articulate with it. And uh, seeing as how busy I can get with that stuff, I've taking the liberty of hiring someone else to do some writing for me. Which, thank you, Lana, and thank you, Ari, if they're here and all that. Lana left. <laughs> yeah, I know, but still. Yeah. Yeah, but we're getting people to help now. Uh, writing is a difficult process. Don't, 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 don't mistake me when I say it. Writing is a very difficult process to, to, to fully master and all that, so... Just letting you know now. Be ready for that, because it is an ass. This hurts me to look at, Kat. It hurts me. I hate this. I hate that I have to... Like, this doesn't look aesthetically pleasing at all. I just had to cram everything in here, because I have no other space. You're living on top of each other at this point. Which, which side of the bed is yours? Uh, this side. Okay. Put my pig on my fucking bedside table. Do you remember the on first character you ever played? Uh, yeah. I played... If you guys know who Cyanide Epic is, he's like an OG YouTuber, OG fucking Minecraft role player. Uh, love the man. He's amazing. Get yeah, me my first ever microphone as payment for this. I played, uh, Kiki for his Yandere Journal series. Yeah. And also played, like, Officer Lulu. It's really where I started my first, like, voice acting. Because they wanted someone who could get, like, high-pitched voices, and I can do Derpy Chan. Derpy Chan used to be, like, a really high-pitched character. So they're like, oh my god, this is perfect. So, we want you. I'm like, oh, okay. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is ugly. I hate this. Didn't Here. you use that microphone for a long time afterwards? Like, oh yeah. Like, like, like we. I remember now. Yeah, we. Um. I had to get you a new microphone because that thing started to die a bit. Oh no! I got a different mic beforehand. Yeah. But, at, like before you met it, but it was like a really like it was like a shotgun mic kind of thing. It was like not. It didn't cost that much, but I didn't have a mic. I only had a headset microphone at the time. And he wanted, you know, he's like, I want better quality, and also I really want to invest in this. So I'm like, okay, thank you. Like, my mom was like, are you sure this is legit? I'm like, yeah, it's pretty legit. And the guy came here, and she's like, oh my god, this is your first payment for voice acting. I'm like, yeah, it is. How old were you again when that happened? Uh, like 15. Yeah. I feel like I was younger, maybe 14. It's still exciting. This 
is all the fucks I get about this fucking man's house. I have no more fucks to give. My fucks are very thin. I can't even put my ukulele anywhere. You can't? No. I don't have a fucking stand for it or anything. I, I, he has his hung up on the fucking wall. I gotta lay mine down. Of course. My bad, sir. It's not the it's not the fact that he has like all these things, by the way. It's the fact that he didn't make like a concerted effort to try and like welcome me, make or room, me, yeah, or make me feel like I'm not a burden here, because I already feel like a burden. So everything's so squished together, and you have to squish everything together. It's like how it is with this fucking asshole. I make room for use though, cat. <clears throat> I know you would, because, I mean, I think anything would be better than this shit. Yeah. Got my little fridge magnets that don't fit into this house at all. This man gives you the vibes like he'd talk shit about you to his friends. You know what I mean? He definitely does. He definitely has. I went from, has. like, a PC for work to just my laptop. I got a laptop for this. That sucks. <laughs> Maybe we can squeeze all this shit together, because, you know, for some reason you want to have three shit on the counter. I had four. We got four things on the counter now. <laughs> and fuck you. You get to go there. Fuck you. You get to go here. I want my shit somewhere. Somebody coffee. donated 40 biddies. Thank you. Oh, thank you Christmas for the biddies. We don't have you come up with Derpy Champ, but how did you come up with Otso? Otso um, actually came from... So before Azora, there was a series that my friends and I were just... It was like a roleplay thing that, you know... Hey guys, after we do like stuff today, like after school, do you want to like, you know, meet up? We decided we were going to do a Minecraft like fantasy kingdom roleplay. And Otso came from that from one of my other friends named Osandu. Um, Osandu never had a microphone. He was always mute. So whenever, like, and whenever he did have his microphone on, like, you know, it was very rare. So um, I was like, I, I developed a lot of his character for him. And he thought it was hilarious. So I was like, dude, uh, you know, uh, so then he like left, like we, we lost contact. So I was like, I really like this character, but his name was Oso. So I wanna I don't wanna like steal from Osandu. And I really would like to like I really like Oso and people think I'm really fun I have a funny voice for him. So because I used to be like, hello, I'm Oso, I can do wear stuff. I I'm like, you know. They thought it was hilarious. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just make this mine. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna name him I don't, I'm gonna rename him I to don't Oso. Think he started off as like a individual like that you before like powerful and all that no he just started off as a random dude who sold like wares in a like magic kingdom who was cursed with his stall to travel for eternity and sometimes he would like be in different universes like he'd be in like crafting dead or uh underwater and like he wouldn't know where his stall was going but he couldn't leave his stall because if he did his stall would keep teleporting without him and he'd also lose his fucking like money so, like, you know, it'd be best to just stay near it. Yeah. What the fuck do I need to put? Where? What is not working well? Oh. This. I can't put it there! He made the- I- I- what the fuck, right? Why? Why would- Okay. You want to know oh. where you have to put the degree, by the way? The degree you worked your fucking ass off on? Is there no other place you can put it? Like, at all? Not even in the bedroom? No. It doesn't let you. You have to put it under the bed. You can't even put it over, like, the toilet? No. He doesn't want to see it. Wow. Red flag, red Such flag, an ass. red flag, gentlemen, red flag. You know what, cat? You know what I like doing? Binary pals, what? You know what I like doing, cat? Hmm. What I would love doing? Hmm. 
showing off your fucking degree. Like, my girlfriend did that. And then this guy's like, just put it under the bed. I don't want to see it. It's like, alright. Bed. That's a fucking dick, actually. Yes, you won't see it. Barely managed to fit myself in here, she says. Yeah. This game is called Unpacking, by the way. It's a, fun, it's a fun game if you want to just, like, organize or something. I moved back home. I broke up with that fucking god-awful man. Yes, girl. Yes, queen. Oh, thank god. Look, she even puts How a fucking How long was she dating space. him? I don't know. Like, I don't remember from the... Here, let me take a look. Um... Two, like two years? Year? Two years. Yeah. Also, I notice as well. Mm -hmm. She also has back pain now. And she really hates her ex. Yep. Not saying anything, but like, you know, we can. I'm just gonna assume that man's trash. Infer. Throw the whole man away, you know what I mean? Cut off his dick. Moving my shit back home. Cause my family still loves me. And they won't let me date a trash ass man. Blew her back out? No. No, like other kind of way. Like, dude. Not in the way you're probably thinking. How come, how do you make up, how do you come up with ideas for characters? Well, for Derpy and Otso, like, <clears throat> when I started developing them more, I just kind of took aspects of my, you know, personality or things about me. Like, Otso is kind of like my wanting to appease people and, like, you know, make friends and, like, but also I, so I also say really weird shit at the worst times and people don't, people think I'm weird. So... I took that aspect, and like, you know, that's what I was like, this is, that's perfect for Otso, I'll have him work through that. Cause then I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I do it at least. Or like, I, I like stories so much, like, you know, like, Lady Cecilia was like, I obviously don't have anything that relates to that very much, but I just thought the idea of like having a character like that would be pretty neat. You came with a whole bunch of stuff for her. Yeah. Shame we never I think it was you that wanted to make her a... Fuck it. Like, anyone's gonna watch it. I think it was your idea that to make her a lesbian and all that. It wasn't even, like, anything that, like, a spoiler. Like, it was kind of clear. People assumed she meant, like... Because, you know, she was, like, saying, yeah, my partner, my partner. And then she said my husband once, and that was just because the church member was fucking talking to her. And those guys saw us. So... Yeah. That's still, you know, church back then. Yeah. You're either straight or you're fucking, or 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 or, or the or the god Satan has gotten you or something. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. See you, soul. Bye, soul. Yeah, but carrying characters is probably the easiest process for me for the most part. It's figuring out some certain traits about them that takes the longest time. Me and Kat spent, I think, a good hour or two trying to make a couple more characters for MHO. Yeah. And we weren't. We got stuck on, not on like their past or anything like that. We got stuck on their goddamn quirks. Cause goddamn. Yeah, we're like, this person is coming from, like, you know, a broken home. Or, like, this person's coming from a very privileged life. Like, it's really, if you watch a lot of media or you, like, you know, consume a lot of roleplay content or, like, just content in general, stories, reading, you're able to, like, you know, pick up, you know, new things. You're able to pick up characters that, you know, you kind of subconsciously hold. Because, you know what, I'll just be honest, nobody's fucking original anymore. Everybody copies somebody. I mean that in the sweetest way. I mean, 
everything nothing's gonna be perfect in this world might as well just you know hey this is, I remember this kind of character from like my favorite video game I kind of want to incorporate something like that yeah like Morse being a little inspired off of fucking Kratos baby yeah you just stopped I nodded. talking I thought I you did nodded, something but like I also forget that, you know, my stream's a little delayed, so you can't see me nod. Yeah, I can't see shit. Yeah. Um, you can take some inspirations off of certain characters and all that. I mean, Morse obviously isn't exactly like fucking Kratos. But, you know. Because Kratos is a murderer and all that. But, uh... What was I gonna say? Creating the character. Well, he is a little bit, but not bad. He's Kratos is worse, cat. Believe me. I can believe you. But um, creating characters is is hard. It can be difficult at times, but as long as you have a good idea of what you want for a character, it's as easy as fucking boiling water. That's me being very honest. Look at these little businessmen having a gentlemanly conversation. They are very busy. Cat. <laughs> Look at them. I they are mean very to do busy. That, but I was like, you know, that's fun. They are very, very busy. Cat. Well, unfortunately, they have to go on the shelves. Oh. They, they were probably discussing duck politics, though. Well, I could tell it's gonna like you know end in a bad way. Nobody can talk about duck politics or chicken politics without somebody getting hurt. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> hmm. How's your role plays doing, Cat? They're pretty good. As always. Not as always, nice. but you know, yeah. <laughs> I'm at 56,000 channel points now. Nice. I watch your streams a lot, baby. Room complete. Next room. You could have played Power Wash Simulator, I just realized. What? Power Wash Simulator, we got an update. Yeah, I know, I did. It's pretty cool. This house super got an update, and I was really excited to show the stream. But as soon as I start, like, playing it, and I stream, my computer completely crashes. We need to get you a new computer. Oh my god, guys, this is my first little apartment condo thing. I think it's a condo. Maybe it's an apartment? I can't tell. It this is my is first... A... It's an I... apartment. Look how cute it is. Look at it. Oh... I'm so proud of her. Look at her. Getting up in the world. Getting her own little house. Lana's back. Hey! Oh, thank you, champion. That's really nice. I'm glad we helped you out with that. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, man. Or, no, not, not thanks. No problem with helping you and all that stuff. Thanks for the ego, uh, ego boost, though, dude. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate it. Ego boost and all that. That was great. All right, let me put my little fucking my little. I went. Look at my little travel tokens here. Look at that. Look at my little souvenirs. I'm going. I'm going around the world, basically. Oh, what have the fuck? Be cute oh here. yeah, I thought Lana was asking if. If, like, Mac dumped a boyfriend or something, it was like, what? Well, then I realized that's in the context yes, of the game of this yes, bitch dumping Lana, them. We, we did, we did dump the boyfriend. But, Lana, you missed it. Let me actually go back to the album real quick. Let me show you. Lana, we couldn't hang up our fucking di diploma. We had to put it under the bed. Because our man is not, you know, co like, comfortable in himself. To allow us to, uh, a have woman. achievements. He was not comfortable with a woman She's being better than Jewish. him. She's also Jewish. 
What? She's Jewish? Yes. She has, like, you know, a, a dreidel at the beginning. She has, like... Oh. Yeah. She's probably Jewish. Yep, she's got this little thing, too. I've read online she's Jewish. I will say that. Because I don't want to make a sum. I don't obviously know all the fucking things. But, you know. Well, I mean, if you got a dreidel and all that, like... Well, probably some Jewish... Uh, history and all that, you know? Yeah. Look at me, I have all this space, and it's all for me, and I'm going to put every single thing I want here, because it's mine. Yay. Oh, she still plays D&D &D and all that. She does. These are all of her fucking, like, D&D &D books. Alright, Chris, let's hope you have fun watching our, our videos and all that. Thank you. And then, oh look, I painted my character finally! She's been also, you gotta, that you gotta drink water. Oh, I gotta drink water? Okay. Doesn't she have chronic back pain now, too? Yeah, she does. It feels good to be streaming again, honestly. I, I miss talking to chat and hanging out with everybody. Yeah. Oh. This is random, but I've always oh. wondered, is there any way... Is there any time when doing a roleplay... What? What's wrong out? Look. I can't. The stream's taking its time. Yeah, you'll see it. You'll see it. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll, I'll keep you with that question then. Is there a time in roleplay during a sad scene you get so into character you start crying? That's every time. That's why I said I get a headache. I got a headache when I did Toby's scene. For yeah. Toby, you know, Toby's adventures. Because I, oh, when cane. I cry, I actually cry. Yeah, she has a cane. She has to walk with that. Oh, that's great. Maybe not all the time, maybe. But still. Whew. Yeah. Same here. I've remember. Remember when my when I had fucking issues with my audio and I had to record like fucking so many episodes. Yeah, I remember that. All that. Um. <clears throat> it's, so here's a funny thing. If you guys don't know, fairy tale when Davis admits to Taro about doing bad things and all that. Um. I did cry every single one of those scenes because I do get in character for all of my shit. Though I, 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 it, it, it was angry at times because of me having to redo a lot of my shit. Toy, Toby's toy box had me in ugly tears. Honestly, it was kind of closure for like a like because you know when we ended you know the the series like when it was canceled, yeah. like it left a lot of things out in the open or like you know things that weren't resolved, and I felt like you know this gave a little bit of closure. The closure that we can really fucking do. Well, well I mean, sort of. I will. In you know, you, you continue, yeah, you say it. In context, you don't need to watch FNAF Adventures to understand Toby's dilemma here. But it really helps, I guess. Basically, imagine, like, going through so much trauma with a group of, like, if, like these are your friends. You, like, witness your, like, your friends die. You get, like, you're under attack. You're being chased. Your life is on the line. And suddenly you're scooped out of that. You're safe forever you're gonna you're fine but your friends are gone that trauma that plagued you is gone too everything is just suddenly gone yeah it's just a lot for and then you know toby just kind of processed it in his own little way which was play and then just yeah. didn't cope well with it. And Nozo was like, yo, maybe maybe I should step in and be like, hey, no, don't do that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's pretty, it was pretty fucked up in general. And no, Toby's Adventures wasn't cancelled. Cat finished it. I finished it way earlier than I wanted. I wanted to give Otso and Derpy, like, a long break. But... Yeah. Toby's Ad Toy Box... Like, like, Vanny's story wasn't popular. Yeah, we learned from our mistakes. Backrooms wasn't popular for either of us. And that was 
both of our faults. No, it was actually mainly me because I I, I Dude, did. Dude, when Zane it. died in Lego Ninjago, I actually cried. I cried hard. I I totally feel like you're feeling there, Penguin. <laughs> Dave doesn't because he doesn't know Ninjago. I also probably wouldn't cry. Yeah, you wouldn't. But like, because it, it's Lego the only thing that's made fun. me cry tears was in Coco. Because I have a grandmother who's ending up like Coco. But still. Is that too personal? No, I'm just trying to put cute pictures on the fucking fridge. Ah, oh, okay. My bad. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> the back rooms. And eh, what's this the thing? Um... FNAF Adventures, the, the the channel and all that, the the reason we okay, so how many how many how many channels was it spread across? Uh, it was spread across Bonnie, Bonnie uh, Freddy, Freddy FNAF then FNAF Adventures. Adventures itself, and then when the when the channel got canceled, we had to uh. Move to yours move to mine because I wanted to fuck if you wanted what do it that would make it go across four fucking channels to understand what the fuck is even going on. So, um I restarted FNAF Adventures, which it just seems like the most logical thing to do at that point, right? Yeah. Like it doesn't make like more refined and less filler, honestly. Yeah. There's more there's there's less filler. It's more refined in some degree. It's not like science or anything like that, but still. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I'll be honest, I'm happy with Bonnie's adventures and how it's going. And I think I'll be even more happier with what's going to happen with FNAF Adventures. Having to redesign complete fucking races because I hate cake. Um, hate cakes. You yeah. know. Alright. <clears throat> Anyways. Uh, that's really it. Hmm. I'm still sorting things. <laughs> Will there be another season in the back rooms? No. Yeah, no. I don't think you heard the beginning of that stream, or part of the stream, but no. It did not do good for either of us, so no, there will not be another season of back rooms. Anything that doesn't do well, like, we don't want, like, numbers, obviously. But also, at the same time, we have to pay people. I have financial responsibilities, and if it doesn't do well, there's really no point in keeping it around. Because there's only, like, five people watching it. So, like, like that's why I canceled Vanny, because... Like, within two days, she would only make, like, 500 views. If when in even two that. days, I make, like, 2k views. Yeah. So that's the dilemma. And we have to at least do something with it. Is there an actual connection between fairy tale and fairy tale origins? No. You know. Where's that at? It's in my uh, fucking. It's Twitch. Yeah, Twitch. No, there's not. There, there, there won't be. Uh, I mean, technically, I could, but. Eh. But that, that's another story for another day. And time, and I don't really care to get into all the other stuff, but still. <clears throat> you know what we also talked about? Because I, you know, I think I can talk about this with... Cat, I, I, th I talked about it with you, about like doing a sequel thing to The Last Guardians, or whatever the fuck it was. But it was just like a Loa's thing, right? Yeah. And then I... It sounds like a good idea... But the issue is it's spread across so many goddamn channels. Yeah, 
It just wouldn't make sense. It would make an. But honestly, a Lois story wasn't really this. Like, they don't. The, the specifics were never really discussed. Yeah. Yeah, but still, it's just. Yeah, it's still tedious. Not sometimes little, like, things happen. Yeah. And it's out of our control. I didn't want to cancel that series. Ah, well. By the way, Kat, I think yes. I'm gonna probably hop off. Okay. So well, do have to do some let's, work? Let's okay. watch, gang. Let's see how many people leave as soon as Davis leaves. <laughs> I fucking don't leave if you're a true fan you fucking stay here and you watch this shit it's a thing i well, notice a lot of people are here for davis so that's fine i'm not mad about it that's just you know also somebody's asking some well, stuff. will there be a new season for scp there will be at some point in the future just not now we like doing scp yeah, scp is gonna come back it's just right now we're focusing on this new series of ma shows it's gonna be fucking amazing yep and also is MHO having another season or is it a spin-off? About Origins. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say anything much about what Origins is planning to do, but this isn't exactly... It, it's a continuation off of Origins, like the thing that I did. However, not all of Origins is doing this. It is, in fact, no one else in Origins is doing this. It's just me and Cat. Yeah. So take that as you will, but Origins may or may not do another season of MHO. And that's me being honest because some people didn't like it. Some people did. And all that. I can't really say much. And also, like, if it was uh, an Origins thing, uh, I I wouldn't have a POV because I'm not a creator in Origins. Yeah. I think they're turning backwards. That is not. This is better. <laughs> okay. Th this just no. This, this looks better here. <laughs> if you leave when Davis does, you're a cringe. Yeah, there you are, but you'd be pretty cringe. So yeah, what happened with a, SAO? What happened with SAO? It didn't do good for me. Yeah. That's it. it sucks because I was really excited about you know some characters there, but oh well. You should watch my MHO season thing on my channel. My full season, season one. Yeah. It's pretty good apparently. Yeah, it's real good. I give it a thumbs up. I think Cat would also give it a thumbs up. I would. And also apparently the villain's hot. Now, Manolo is very hot. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go to the bathroom now, and okay. I'm gonna get ready to do this video with uh, Devin. I don't know how long it'll be. Okay, Cap. Take your time. If you're still, then I'll, I'll come back. Okay. Okay. I love you. Love you too. Okay. Ciao. Bye. Manolo is hot. Nothing can change my mind ever. I'm gonna put this, this fucking printer shit, right there on the bottom. Fuck you. And then this goes here. And then... Wires. I didn't get that this would happen. Like, why the fuck would you have a thing full of wires? But in my office, I literally have a fucking bin that is the exact same thing. So, like, yep. I get it now. <laughs> I am but the fool. I'm also still watching chats. If you guys have any questions or statements or whatever the fuck, uh, happy to answer. I'm just focusing so hard on, like, where the fuck do I put this scanner? But, like... And this, I don't know where to put this. I don't where not not there. Here is cute. 
I have so many bedrooms. I have so many rooms to do still. <laughs> I really recommend rewatching Davis's uh, MHO series. You know, it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty good. <laughs> Fave Ninjago character? Well, Lloyd. I fucking hate his mom, Misako. Like, with a burning passion. Um. Question, when you were doing backrooms originally, was the intention to have that universe be an example of a cat and Davis who were just friends? Honestly, we were still deciding what the fuck to do with, uh, the, those two as, a, as, a, as characters. Like, uh, what they would be, like, relationship-wise. And then, uh, we couldn't finish it, so we we're like, okay, well, uh, we're just gonna leave the universe and just leave it up to interpretation. I personally think they just stayed friends. They don't seem like the type to, like, date. But, yeah, friends. In my opinion, that might, you know, maybe Davis might have a different opinion of it. Mm. Very picky, as you can see. Maybe this is good down here. Uh, let's see. Um, do you need to be good at using the blockbuster mod to be bought act here? No, you don't need to be. You you can just be literally. You're just going to be your like yourself in Minecraft. We have we have mods where you can change your skin to the skin of Taro, and then you just be Taro for like a scene. And then, you know, you just, you know, move your head like Taro would. Like, some of the times when Davis is, like, talking to Taro, it's me. I'm playing Taro and just, like... Or, like, you know that episode where Taro is, like... Where, where Davis is, like, I killed people! And I'm, like, you know, like... Uh, I'm so sad. I'm, like, uh... Um, I was Taro. I was, like, the one who was holding him. And, like, all that shit. Didn't you play Svanny before for the Security Beach for play? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I uh, played that fucking bitch, yeah. <laughs> but then I stopped. <laughs> Got too busy. Other questions? I will say, by the way, just like, you know, when we did uh, voice actor applications, there was like 200, 300 people who applied, and only like. Um, let me see, I'm gonna guess how many. Um, 60, maybe? I'm- that's a- that's me thinking, like, those are the people we pended. Like, we were like, yeah, this is good. And the reason why, it could have been more. You wanna know why it wasn't more? Because a lot of you don't know your goddamn time zone. And then if I tell you how to find your time zone, you're like, uh, what? And I-, I like, this is not me attacking everybody, but just know that if- when we do applications again, uh, don't be vague about yourself, and don't, like- fuck up giving us what your, you know, your, um, your time zone. Cause it's literally like, you just gotta Google it. Don't do the time you're filling out the application. That is a rookie mistake there. What's your favorite roleplay that you've ever done? For my channel? Hmm. Karina. I like- I, I'm biased right now. Karina 
I, I love her story, and I have so much in store, and I'm really excited for how people watch it and how they react to it. Like, it's really, like, ooh, people are gonna want to see how people react to it. Like, you know, especially because people, like, are like, oh, well, this is, well, everybody knows what happens at the beginning of, you know, Origins of Olympus. So, everyone's just, like, preparing for, you know, what the hell's gonna happen. And it's like, well, you know, it's not gonna end it. It's not gonna end right when the end of whatever the fuck you think's gonna happen. And yes, people, you don't need to ask my permission to create OCs. I love when people create OCs. It's like a, the biggest compliment to me because, you know, I grew up on YouTube. I made like OCs of like when Afmau did my like Minecraft diaries. I made OCs there. I made OCs when I was watching Cyanide Epic. I, I used to make a bunch of OCs and roleplay and like all this fun shit. And then if I've like inspired somebody to create their own character, that is the biggest compliment to me. And like, ah, oh, this is so great. Question, how have you been recently? Stressed and tired. I've been trying to keep up with everything, but you know, that's mostly just me. I get lazy sometimes. <laughs> The person who does the Karina thumbnails is Kiwi Arts on Twitter, by the way, so you should totally go check them out. They are really they're really amazing artists and I'm really appreciative of their talents. I stayed up until two in the morning last night and got up at around six. And the only reason I stayed up until 2 in the morning was because I couldn't sleep. <laughs> I was, like, so stressed out. I was like, I don't want to sleep. I want to do more stuff. But then I'm like, I don't really want to do more stuff because I'm too tired. So, you know. Whack. Do the stars in Karina's hair have meaning, or is it just aesthetic? It has meaning. And it's also part aesthetic. <laughs> Do you have any recommendations for shows to watch? I am the worst person to ask for that. You wanna know why? I love Chinese dramas. I love Chinese historical dramas so fucking much. I've gotten my friends into it. I'm watching right now. Like, honestly, if you want something cutesy and, like, romantic and, like, really good, because I think this is amazing, and I was having Bunny watch it last night, Kai watch it with me last night, and she cried, uh, my, the, the General's Lady is a good one. I'd watch. Um, but I'm not, I don't have anything that's, like, or, like, the, the Legend of Yangtze Palace, like, Y-A-N-X-I, uh, like, that's good. And then my time zone's mountain standard. <laughs> I release videos at like four my time. <laughs> so. Honestly, when I watched like the the general's lady, I got some nice like Morse vibes and shit. It's like, you know, or like, you know, like, not not with, like, Karina, though, but, like, the one of the characters I like is, like, that's kind of fucking badass. <laughs> like, Morse vibes, you say? Yeah. Yeah. The, the- the- the general in that is supposed to be, like, this really scary, uh, like, they call him the demon general, and he wears a mask, and he is ferocious in battle. And I'm like, that is great. 
And, like, there's this one scene that I'm like, that is kind of, like, Morse vibes and Karina vibes. Like, I, I don't even know how I'd ever do a fucking scene of that or how that would make any sense. And I'm like, oh, dude. Lana, if you watch it, it's for free on YouTube. Surprisingly enough, I will, sh I will, sh I will share this, pl the playlist with you afterwards and we can fangirl about it, Lana. Because I'm, like, I need somebody to watch it with me. So, um... Is there any YouTubers that you and Davis wish to collaborate with? Um. Uh, I don't know about Davis, but I don't really have any YouTubers I wish to collab with. I mean, I've. I kind of collab with a lot of people already now. I collaborate with, like. You know, a couple people. Like. You know. I don't. Honestly, I, I don't really have. I don't really wish to do anything, like. Big. Or like, you know, my, my, my big dream that won't ever happen is, uh, meeting Technoblade. Which ain't gonna happen, so like, so, I'm not gonna dwell on it anymore and be like, Oh, I wish I wanna meet Tommy in it, or fucking Wilbur Soot, or Rainbow, or, but you know, cause I'm like, I really wanna meet Techno. <laughs> At least in the Minecraft space, if I could, I, I've met, you know, I, I, you know, I'd like to meet, like, you know, or collaborate with those kind of people, so. If I met Techno, I would just fucking, like, like, if he was still around, I, I wouldn't even be, like, a good, like, I'm not good at PvP, so, like, nothing would have, like, done, like, been done, but, like, <laughs> not with that attitude. Um, it's kind of hard to fucking meet him now, because he's, you know, dead, so. <laughs> I'm trying to joke around about it, because I for sure think he would want to want people to joke around about it. I mean, dude released merch after he fucking, you know, like, he's like, here are GG Easy merch. That is just fucking hardcore. <laughs> Not to make everybody sad, of course. Just I haven't talked about it in a while. <laughs> Hanging up my little jackets, my cute shirts. Oh, was my stream? Is my stream lagging? Hello? Is my stream lagging? Please don't be lagging right now. There you go. I saw my stream just stop for a minute. I was like, what? Yeah, I lagged too, everybody. We all had that moment where we were like, oh. Yeah, that was, I, I was like, oh, that was happening to me too. <laughs> I think we're all here though. We're all still here. We're all friends. We're all happy to be here. Cause my fucking like, I I, I have my streamlabs open up and in the background I have my Twitch and I just saw it like just still I'm like oh that's that's not great. <laughs> All right. Love you too, Davis. What would you give tips about when people start using Blockbuster? I'm not the right person to ask. If anything, you should ask Davis or Kai. I, the only Blockbuster I've ever done is uh, the, the reason I also like the Karina first episode is because I put Blockbuster, I did like, like Davis did a lot of the carrying, but I, I got to record it. I was like, I'm doing it. So, yeah, I, I've never done anything blockbustery. Uh, I'm not that good at it. <laughs> the 
Look how nice this room's coming together. Now to the bathroom. Why do I keep straightening my hair? I mean, I straighten my hair, but, you know. It's just, I use, like, a brush for it. I don't use, like... Stotso and Stravofy, yeah. I thought that was actually hilarious to do. I was like, you know, it'd be really funny if I pretended like there was gonna be a fight and then didn't actually have one. <laughs> and I really wanted to try green screen as well. I was like, you know what? That'd be pretty funny. It'd be a good chance. Oop, hold on a minute. Hey. Hello, Davis. So, uh, I'm not sure how long I'll be here. I'll still be here for a bit, but hello. Someone has questions about, you know, Blockbuster. Fucking, really? Yeah, you know me, I don't know anything about Blockbuster. <laughs> what would, would good tips be about Blockbuster? Fucking... I had a stream where I talked literally about everything about Blockbuster and like how to do things where and when and how. But I'm pretty so sure I'm pretty sure it's gone right now. Yeah, it's maybe she saved it. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Oh well. Fucking YouTube can do it, but you know. Blockbuster is a very tricky thing to get like full grasp of and I, there's no way I can ever describe it fully in a single time frame <laughs> like that <laughs> but yeah that's really good also depends on what you want to do with blockbuster that depends if you want to do like modeling depends if you want to do like animating depends if you want to do tracking it depends if you want to do um Straight up animations, camera angles, etc. There's a lot that goes into Blockbuster, in. and I just know why I can go ever go into it in, a, you know, yeah. manner like that. Looks like you've, you've fully decorated the place, though. Looks yeah. nice. What? Oh, I didn't even put this away. That goes there. It would fucking stay there. And then, oh, the pan. I forgot about this pan here. Who do you think would win in a battle, Karina or Fairy Cat? Fairy Tale Cat? Yeah, Fairy Tale Cat would win. Karina can't fight for shit. She, I'd like to remind everybody, because this is like haven't been. This wasn't shown in uh, Karina. So I just, I didn't really want to go throughout their entire life. It was kind of just the same shit over and over again. But Morse was taught how to, like, you know, like, fight and shit, like, that kind of stuff. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but, like, you know, Karina wasn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, she was never really taught to fight. Like that, anyways. I, that's, it's, that's, like, that's like asking who would win, an ant or a lion. <laughs> In my opinion. Yeah. Karina has no experience with fighting. Nope. The most she's ever the most experience she's got is being smacked by Morse. Yeah, remember that? That was fun. <laughs> that that would that which was still planned since the beginning of the season. But yeah, that we... would happen. Look at my little house. A little apartment. Well, I, I call it house, because home is where your heart is. That is true. Home is where the heart is. I got flowers. <gasps> you dating someone? Perhaps. I wonder who it could be. Wish I could well, actually, you're though. dating me already, Kat. You get the joke. What? No, I was reading chat. I just didn't hear anything. I was like, oh, I said you were dating me already, cat. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> I 
That means you're gonna return as a series. It's gonna return as a solo series for me and Cat. Yes. It's not gonna be a thing for the rest of the other Origins members. Yeah, you can tell that because I'm recording. I'm gonna have it on my series, on my channel as well. I'm not an Origins creator. Should be. I haven't been asked. <laughs> Where the organ is going, don't know. Uh, anyways, let's not get into that fucking thing. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> Little laptop. Cute pillows that go very nicely with my- Oh, and a throw blanket. And they have their own movies. Davis, what's your favorite thing about Cat? You're asking me to define one quality that makes cat look, or you're asking me to define one quality in general. There is no definable quality of which I like cat because I like all of cat. Huh. Thanks, Bubby. Yeah. The one part I like most about cat is cat. That's it. And that's how you get laid, folks. <laughs> Thanks, you nearly ruined it. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be great. It's relaxing. Why did y'all join Brian's channel when you did? Uh, I was asked to. He needed Bored. a voice actor for a fucking a character for his FNAF hotel, but I was on the cruise and he already agreed to let me play the character. And he's like, "How have you play Baby instead?" I'm like, "Okay." So I played Baby instead. <laughs> Who's the other character initially? I was supposed to play Misty's character from FNAF hotel. What the fuck was her character? She was like a child who lived in the vents because uh, she was trying to get away from like, you know, the animatronics that were actively trying to kill everybody. You're a bit of an internet thing right now? I am? Yeah, just tiny bit. Just hold on. Oh, I think? Hmm. It's fine for me. Yeah, I think, it, I think internet is getting hiccups right now. Sorry. Weird. Oh, it's weird. Sorry, guys. There's just a bit no of lag. Problem. I think there was a hiccup. We're back now. It's all good. Yeah. Or um, maybe it's on Twitch's end, because YouTube was fine, actually. Yeah, YouTube was... Yeah. You know. Anyways, uh... Misty, right? Yeah. Go on. I just said... Oh, did you hear it? I don't think they heard it. Oh, Misty was like a child who lived in the vents. Um to avoid the animatronics that were hunting children and trying to kill them. And they were like a badass with like a bow and arrow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's about it. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah. I got bored. And I just decided to f say fucking undo it. So I did. Brian, he he put out a fucking casting call, right? For yes. for like this new series, practically. Yes. And he needed new characters, and I was just like, uh, fuck it. How <laughs> and do I you did. even see that? I was looking on casting call for things, and I just did, I just did it. <laughs> nice. And I'm glad I took the opportunity because I would not be where I am right now without it. You have two drink waters, by the way. Thank you. Drinking the waters now. Drank the water. Nice. Two sips. Nice. Oh. That's good. Sorry, I just got a message. Oh, nice. It is what you probably think it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh. Well. 
could be many things. Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. Is there a role play you just don't like? Like of our channels? I guess in general, if they're asking like that. Well, what I don't want. Role play do you not like? No, I, I'm, I'm fine to throw shade. Well, you know, I don't like throwing shade at people. Publicly, I'm just kidding. <laughs> or am I? Yeah. I don't know. Um. Hmm. A E I O U, by the way. A yeah. There's an A back there. Oh. I think the role play that I had the least amount of fun in, in general, was back rooms. I'm not gonna lie. Like there was a lot of work that went into into it for the by the builders themselves so much and it just felt the payoff was just not there at all yeah just, it just didn't feel good i think cat could kind of kind of agree with that if you want to yeah honor. honestly doing it was like tedious i guess yeah, it was tedious. It was this. It, we we couldn't really do anything because the back rooms has all these like fantastical like creatures, and you it would be exhausting to do them in every episode. But also at the same time, you know you have to wait for models to come in, and you know not yeah. to just take too long. <laughs> With the way the industry is on YouTube, you can't fucking take your time. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's really the only thing. That's the only really series I genuinely haven't had like a good time with, and neither has Cat. Actually, not even the size. They're still in other series. I think me and Cat are pretty good role players when we join. What we do for the most part when yeah. we can. This place is getting a little cramped. This is the kitchen. It's allowed to get cramped. It's got a bunch of fucking spices. Yeah, true. It's just, you know. I also don't know where to put the bowls and shit, so. That's fair. Because I could put this all back here. And I will. And I will do that. Can you delete that, David? I have no idea how to. You're not in mod view. I'm not. I should get in mod view. Let me get in mod view real quick, honey. My apologies, Kat. Yeah, I'm pissed at the lack of fucking cabinets they have here. I cannot delete messages. I'll do, I'll do it then. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not letting me delete messages. Yeah, you're, you're a moderator. Weird. I know, I'm, it's just not letting me delete messages. What did you guys do on YouTubes before role plays? I, uh, I actually made Club Penguin videos. Fun Gaming fact. videos. <laughs> Gaming videos. <laughs> I've always been a storyteller. I made so many Club Penguin roleplay, like not really roleplays, but storytelling videos where I would, I had like this other YouTube, like not really YouTube, this other, like there's like this other Club Penguin website where you could have multiple like you know, accounts that all had like basically the membership thing where you could get pretty outfits and uh, you could have them open on the same time, like on the same like, you know, browser. So I just was like switching between like Club Penguin accounts to make, you know, an actual story. <laughs> yeah. I did read another question, by the way. Yeah? I'm not sure if I should answer that one. Hmm. Uh, well, it's just like, how was my time on Minecraft Five Nights at Freddy's channel? I'm pretty sure we're talking about GLG there. Thanks. If you don't want to answer, you don't have to. I can answer it. 
Well, fuck it, like, what else am I gonna lose? I don't have anything to lose from that channel. <clears throat> Richard speaking, talking about the GLG channel, or at least the channel that had like a million subscribers that used to get like hundreds of thousands of views per video before it fell off, basically. Pretty sure that's it. But, to answer that question, horrible. It was not a good time for me. Um, Kat, I don't know if I told you much, but I think you started to realize that I got, I started getting memory, like, issues in general. Uh, yeah, because after you're so a while. stressed. Yeah. But, um, the stress of working on that channel is... It was a fucking lot. It got really bad to the point where sometimes I just had like memory issues and 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 all these other things. Pay was not good. Nothing was really good with it. And uh Yeah. Guys, it just wasn't a fun time. Just what? complete side note. I feel like everyone will be hyped about this. Our main gal protagonist is dating a woman. Hey. And she dated a man before. Bisexual? Yes. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. Look, she's got a little pretty dress. Hey. Nice. And guess what I did? I made room for her. Like a fucking... Like you should. Like a good like partner. you should. Look at this. You know, I, I got a like different dresser. I feel like those two, um, I feel like those two, like, probably play D&D &D together for a while or something. Look at it, she's got matching boxes, too. Look how cute they all are. Yeah. It's cute. Also, is there a version of a Davis that you dislike as a character? I think that goes to both of us, Kat. Dimensions. Dimensions. You don't like Davis from FNAF. Dimensions is a lot worse. Awful. He's an awful character. Well, he's not a bad character. He is, as a person, just bad. You know? She dresses in vintage styles. I'm... That's me. I'm... Just, oh, they have little walkie-talkies. Why do they need walkie-talkies? They're right next to each other. What's your favorite version of Molten? The current one? The one that actually looks good? Yeah. Instead of being pixelated, or melted, or what have you. I love this coat. Oh my god. It looks really good, baby. It looks very fucking fluffy and comfy. Incense sticks. Hmm. The incense. Yeah, these boots are fucking fire, and I love the little mini backpack, the sandals, the boots. got a fun sense of style. I like her. Yeah. Pretty fun. Anyway, other questions and starch? <sighs> Did you enjoy the people there at GLG? No. I'm not going to go into detail about that. I mean, they're the reason FNAF Adventures got cancelled in the first place, but, you know. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, well. Does she have crystals? Does she have crystals? Uh, I don't see any. Kinda Not yet. a crystal kind of girl. Not gonna uh, lie. I don't, I don't see any crystals yet. That doesn't mean they're out of the equation. It's just I don't see them yet. <laughs> But I am putting her little shoes on their little shelf. That's nice. She's got little boots. They're gonna stay right here, closer to the other boots. 
And then we got these cute little sandals thingies here. They're cute as fuck. Yay. Did I tell you? Like, I think I'm gonna just say it. Somebody thought I was like 30 years old or something. Do I sound like a fucking 30 year old? No. Like, I, I'm not trying to fucking sound old, but I don't fucking know. It just sounded weird. In general. The curse of having deep voices that people think. How old did you think I was before I told you my age? I thought you were, like, in your, like, mid-twenties. Or, like, late later twenties, if that makes sense. Or, like, I don't know. Like, in, the, in your twenties. When you found out I was, like, fucking 19. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, whoa, holy shit. <laughs> yeah. It was a fun time. Oh. Huh. Well. I think I gotta hop off and do the thing now, finally. Oh, okay. Well, it was great having hmm. you, Davis. It's good being here with you, Karen. I've always liked taking my time to spend it with you. Yay! Yeah. Well, you have fun general. with your work. I will. Talk to you later. Goodbye again, guys. For now, I don't fucking know if Cal will keep e streaming still after this or not, but we'll see. Bye. Yeah, ciao! Look at this cute little setup we got going here. Oh, uh, we have to reorganize my fucking clothes because my dumbass didn't keep shit organized. Why the fuck would you? <sighs> Whatever, girl. Yeah, what the fuck ever. Why not keep my beautiful cabinets, my beautiful closet, organized to how it was? No, we'll just fuck around and find out. There we go. And then this is gonna go at the foot of the bed. And then they're right next to each other. It's so cute. So fucking cute. And then the bathroom. God, she's got a lot of beauty products. Like a lot of beauty products. Like these are face creams and shit. Like, okay. No judgment, just, that's a lot. <laughs> and then let's see here. Um, my makeup can go up here and her shit can go up here because she can have where, wherever she wants. Right here is perfect for her and that. And I got rid of my hair straightener. Put my shit here. Great. Uh, let's see. Any other questions, my guys? I love chatting with you guys about literally anything, so... Shoes there, comb there, oh this, uh, there, oh, I missed a few, they were hidden, you go here, perfect, look how cute, I love Davis a lot, Davis. Oh, look, so much more cozy now. Feels like a home. That's cute. That's very cute. What is a series you would love to do? Um. Honestly, I don't know. I feel like I've 
done like a lot of the series that I want like at the top of my head. I mean there's a few like ideas but stuff I don't know if anyone would actually like like Mafia. Imagine that. Mafia roleplay. That's not a very popular concept nowadays. So. That wouldn't do well. <laughs> Power Ranger go. I don't like Power Rangers. My brother did, but I, I wasn't a huge fan. Because it took up time for the TV, and I fucking wanted to watch TV. <laughs> I didn't want to watch fucking Power Rangers. I wanted to watch, like, you know, something else. <laughs> love a mafia roleplay because I have ideas for it and like imagine if Origins ever did like a like a mafia roleplay because then people could like have like different mafia families and shit like that that would be pretty cool but people they, I think they like doing more anime based stuff so like you know Where to put this pretty little painting, but right there is fine for now. We, we remote, other remote. Oops. This will have all of our DVDs and stuff. You know, forbidden love kind of mafia shit, like Romeo Juliet type of shit. That would be fucking cool. You know what I mean? Like, but no one want like, you know, I did see that when mafia, there was mafia content at one point on, like, Minecraft roleplay stuff, but it wasn't, like, hugely popular. So I'm like, I don't know if it would still be popular now, and I don't want to hazard a guess, because I don't want to, you know, invest a lot of time into it and then like get really disappointed when it doesn't do well or if it doesn't do well. <laughs> I like the sound it makes when you fucking rustle these around. <laughs> that should be in the kitchen section. Then that's cute there. Pillows, uh, front door. Mafia big in fanfics right now. Yeah, but I don't know if fanfics and uh, Minecraft role plays go in hand. Like, uh, you know, um. It depends on who's actually looking at the fanfics and who's actually watching the Minecraft roleplay content. And if people who read the Mafia role like Mafia stuff would go and watch a Minecraft roleplay about it. Or think it's absolutely cheesy. <laughs> it's a very thin line. <laughs> Fucking Blu-ray, Jesus Christ. Okay, um... There we go, looks good. We have these little books over here. Then, um... Uh... 
cute. There we go. It's going great. Got these. That's perfect. We're doing great so far. What? That, that is a weird decor to just have. Yeah, the, the character is dating a woman and, surprise guys, they're expecting. Look how cute. Their little, their little nursery is so cute. You will decorate that nursery later though. I want to get the fucking kitchen or something dealt with first. They have the rice steamer. Pretty sure that's what that is. Soap. Sponge. More sponge. Glass. Spice. Spice. Mortar and pestle. Why? I don't know why we can't get a food processor, but mortar and pestle it is. Alright, time for our magnets. No one our pictures together. Oh, look at them! Look at them. Look at them. I love them. This is- this is adorable. Unless adoption not biologically possible? Have you heard of IVF, my guy? Or in- like- like- for- like infertilization- you can just- you can just- there's, there's, it's okay, we don't question it, but there is a process that people can do. We have a lot of cups, we have these mugs, more bowls, heart-shaped cookie cutters. This goes to the front. Cute. More mugs. God, there's just so many mugs. You know what? At least there's more fucking cupboard space. That is a miracle, isn't it? Alright, we have this water heater thing. This should not even be in the same fucking file. The fuck is IVF? Google it, buddy. I'm not gonna be your fucking biology teacher today. That's not my job. <laughs> My job is to sit on computer and make funny video. Oops, I went the wrong place, but I did take I was just like unboxing mode just immediately take stuff out. Um Go. Where the fuck? There's just so much shit. They have so many kitchens appliances because they're gonna start a family. And I have to be supportive of that. Here we go, a little cute thing. Cheese grater. Garbage bag. Trash. These things can stack. Plate, 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 plate. Uh. Microwave. Timer. Maybe I should put their little pictures on the side. Like, like showcase it right here. Perfect. And then I get at this, and then like this, and then this is where they put their groceries, like what they need. They have a whisk. God, there's just so much shit in here. I didn't think you'd need this much for a kitchen, but you do. Technically, they invested in more space, though, Lana, so technically it still is okay. Uh... There. And then oven mitts go there. That's cute. That's a cute place to put that. Um... Pesticide. Oh. You. Poop. Flower. One. I think I'll do it right here on the front. That'll be cute. God, there's just 
can you see how much shit is in here? If anyone has questions, y'all can just keep doing it. You can just keep asking. I, I will keep answering. actually. These are precious and they must be... Alright, so. Rice cooker there. There we go. That'll go there. Um, you ever played a Lego game? Uh, yeah. I, I, I'm not, you know, like, uncultured. <laughs> I played the, the Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. I played Lego Batman. I played Lego Star Wars. You know, I've played a lot of the Lego games. My brother and I would play it together and get frustrated as fuck at some of the puzzles. What can go... If you could have a sadist quality animatic in one of your role plate scenes, whether in your own creation or when you played a role in, what would it be in which scene series would you, like, scenes would you want it in? Um... You gotta sound like a broken record. Karina! <laughs> Uh, scene of her meeting Thanatos, scene of her, like, also, like, when she was, when she dropped the, the, the thing from her dad, like, the, her dad was like, don't fucking touch this, and she's like, okay, immediately touched is it. What's your favorite Lego game? Pirates of the Caribbean, I don't know why, but that fucking thing is, is I remember it the most, honestly, that's probably why I, I like it so much. these cups and I don't even know like where should I put the spices like the spices feel like they could go here but they feel like they should go up here instead too Oso and Derpy got their own show is because uh, people kept asking about their backstories and what who they were. People would be like, I don't know who this Oso and Derpy people are. Like people would be like, Oh my God, Oso and Derpy! And new people to the channel would be like, I don't know who the fuck Oso and Derpy are. Who they? Who are they? And so I was like, You know what? Might be great if like I just make my own channel, my own like series about it. And you know, I have their story, and it would be pretty good to tell. Spices always go above the stove. Thank you, Lana. Thank you for educating me. Focusing so hard on making this place great. You can't put stuff in the stove. I've checked. You can't. It, I would put these in the stove if I could. 
Like in the oven? I put that there. underneath um, garbage bags go there um, is there more spices in here I can't see because like I feel like there's something I'm missing here Leave that be. And then, uh, actually, yes, I missed a spice right there. I'm, I'm smart. I can see. Um. There. Uh, there. There. Before I do that, though, I have to put the sponges underneath the sink. Thanks for sticking with me so far, guys. I think this is like the last level of the game, which meant then we can just, you know, you know, chill. <laughs> this goes there. I want this there. Anything I can put underneath this? You. Great. looks good. This is kind of looking kind of cute. Kind of vibing with it. And then, uh, this can have these matching kitchen stuff. Like, you know, look at this. Before we were mixing matching shit. Now we have a nice set that we're probably gonna lose during the move several times and then start mixing matching again. You know, Cause that makes li logical sense. <laughs> Oops, there's a little cactus here. I forgot. There you go. Um, I didn't even notice there was a whale here. What's the worst paper cut you ever gotten? This isn't a paper cut, but when I was uh, like really young, I. Uh, not really really young but I stepped on a rose thorn in my backyard like right in the arch of my foot which a lot of blood pumps through so I my, my mom like was screaming because she hates blood and I so she scared me the she scared the fuck out of me where she had me like brought in the house had me sit down like with my foot above my head for so it wouldn't bleed as much and then ripped the fucking like thorn out not ripped she gently put it out but like then it immediately started bleeding all over my face because there was so much blood there like it just like dripped on my face I'm like uh so you know gross that's my life <laughs> to put in that drawer so that's gonna oh wait yep these these things yep i remember these things i didn't forget they existed these are their favorite cups their favorite mugs i guess i don't know and then uh more mugs what's your worst phobia if i tell you 
I expect on Twitter or wherever the fuck, people are gonna just start sending my fear to me. Because I know how the internet works. As soon as I say what it is, a lot of bitches are gonna be like, oh, yeah, here, here you go, <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, well, that's why I shouldn't have said shit. So, it's going to remain a secret for now. That's what we get for being bad people on the internet. God, this is like impossible. I don't even know where to put this roller. This rolling pin. I gotta put it there. There we go. And then... I kinda don't want those there. Cause those look kinda bad. This looks so gross over there, but like there's nothing I can do about it, so... Oh well, um... <laughs> Question for Ket, are there any versions of yourself you feel uncomfortable playing? For a little while, I didn't really like playing Fairy Tale Cat, like Fairy Tale Origins, like the Origins version of Cat, where she's like all seductive and shit, and like manipulative. I felt, uh, I felt bad, and I also felt like kind of gross being manipulative to somebody I like, but like I distanced myself from that with the character, like, like it's a character, I gotta play it, so. Yeah, that's the only character I felt uncomfortable playing, but, like, I didn't tell Davis about it. <laughs> so needy. Why must you- there we go. Would you said that while I saw the call? Yep. 100%. I would have told him. <laughs> I don't think I- I don't mind hiding it from him anymore, because I just felt bad at the time, because I was like, I don't want- He wants to get the story out, and I don't want to, like, delay it, because there were so many things delaying it. I was like, you know, I- I won't fuck with it, so I'll just- I'll be- I'll be good and just not say anything about it. most difficult character to play in regards to like motives and stuff uh who they are what their motives um i'm thinking um not really good at this thinking thing i'm clearly like, so i'm like hmm um Honestly, when I think about it, um, Van I mean, Vanessa was hard at first. I think it was Van- no, it wasn't Vanessa, it was Valerie. I say Vanessa because if I- because everyone refers to Valerie as Vanessa in the comments if they're fucking- oops, I hit my mic- if they're fucking new. But, um, Valerie, I just didn't like- I was- I, I just didn't know how to be, you know, like- Like, I, I had my motives, which was like, this park, this is dumb, fuck this, you know, whatever the shit. But, um, also, like, why it mattered to me so much, and then coming up with, like, the really deep backstory for why it mattered to her so much, like, really fixed it for me. Hello. 
can I make fan art of you in, like, another outfit? Uh, dude, you don't have to ask. <laughs> you have a blanket statement of do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> I love seeing fan art, so if you want to do that, go ahead. And, uh, yes, SCP is going to come back for another season. It's just we're a little busy right now and are trying to do other series. When it comes back, it'll be, you know, it'll, it'll come back, but it'll be a little bit. Why the fuck are there still random whales? What is up with this random bull? This goes to the fucking office. Oh, they have pregnancy books! And a cute little- this is going in my office. These books are finally ready to be put. Oh, this. I don't know why the fuck I put that there. Cute. Oh yeah, I also don't know why the fuck everybody hated Valerie so fucking much. I mean, she came from a fucking legitimate place of like, why the fuck is there a park that it, we're, we're still spending money where it there's people who have been killed? Like, I would do- I would shut that shit down pretty quick too. <laughs> Valerie was that she was just mean and like, you know, the bad guy, but there was really no reason for her to be the bad guy, like, other than, you know, corporate stuff. And I wanted to give her a stronger reason than just corporate stuff. do a face reveal. I already have my face on YouTube. It's on my channel. If you were to go look back, you'd find uh, a couple videos with me. I do haunt I used to stream with my face exclusively with like, you know, uh, Sims and stuff. So, I, I already have a face reveal. Because I just didn't, didn't know that VTubing was a thing. <laughs> and I didn't- I also was like, you know, I want to, you know, connect more people and, you know, felt like that'd be fun- more fun to do. I just kind of skipped over this. Okay, let's get back to this. Where can you get this game? It is on Steam, and it's on the Switch, too. It's called Unpacking. I, it's a really good game. I really recommend it. I found it on TikTok while they were still, like, you know, in development. And I'm like... A game where I can sort things? Sign me the fuck up! Yeah, it's on the Switch. It's pretty cool. I haven't done Animal Crossing in a long time either, Lana, so you're not alone on that one. And I have actually played on the Xbox. In fact, I started playing Minecraft on the Xbox with my brother. I used to be an Xbox Minecrafter.
honestly like not doing many face streams anymore because it actually comes from a place of laziness. You see, I don't have to put my makeup on before I do a, a face stream. And I don't, I, I don't want to do makeup beforehand. And I also feel like I need to put makeup on beforehand because I'll be on camera and I need to show people what I look like. So that means I have to, you know, look good. Mm. And if I don't look good, what was the point? <laughs> By the way, throughout this entire game, our pro tag here has been trying to create a book. Like she's been doing like and it like arts like you know like you've been we've been seeing some you know sketches and shit of like you know I think she she wants to make like a like a children's book and she did it she made her first children's book. Call of Duty or nah. Dude, I just played fucking Minecraft on my on my on Xbox, so you know, not really. God, this place is a fucking wreck. Can I make a fan art gotcha character view? Of course. Go ahead. You don't have to ask. I find it nice that you ask, but because like some people would just do random shit with me. But you know, I honestly, you know, I, I'm flattered. I like seeing fan art. She has a drawing tablet. It's it, she's got a little thing, like a little brace, because she's probably got fucking like tennis arm or some shit. Like, sorting the shit out of this place. Fuck you. You go up here. And then these can go here. All of my little sketchbooks. I don't know what the point of a... I'm sure they can afford the the drawing tablet because they're selling their kids book like they're they're selling this They're so they, they have a they have a kids book on sale. And it looks like it's doing good some fucking money um let's see a little business card little eraser good as shit because then I can put this here right and then this here and then drawing tablet right there it's a bit like a cluttered desk literally but you know what you know you gotta make sacrifices <laughs> Ha 
that's cute. There we go. Bathroom done. We will do the adult room first. Candle. Uh, pictures. Printer. That's great. But that. Why the fuck was that in with the fucking bedroom shit, dude? Almost did it again. I'm just trying to focus on this. Give me all the fucking chickens. That goes there. They do yoga. Together! And then, uh... This is the more... Uh, this goes downstairs. This can go in the dresser. This goes in the study. I'm being summoned again. Hello. Hello. I How was it? That was that was fast. It was it was like 25 minutes. Yeah, it's pretty fast for you. Yeah, it can be. Um, I mean, it was just me and him, yeah. so uh, it can be pretty good. Or quick. But by the way, hello, chat. I am back. Father has returned. Don't worry. I brought milk this time. Yay. Sustenance for the children. Yeah. I'm going to arrange my ducks like this. Look how cute my Anyways, I, I've been watching the stream a little bit on the side. I see they have like a baby crib and all that. Yeah, they're having a baby. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Is it chalky milk? You haven't been good enough to get that one, Mac. Do I get the chalky milk? You get chalky milk, just not Mac. Okay. Sorry, Mac, but that's Specifically, the rules. Mac. Specifically, Mac cannot get it. Them's the rules, Mac. I don't make them. What's been going on since I've been gone? Just hanging out with chat, really. And, uh... Nice. You know, asking, like, answering questions. Yeah, nice, If cool. anybody has more questions, you know, Davis is here, so, you know, we both can answer. Yeah, I'm here now. Put these in the living room, little speaker thingies. I think those are yeah, Mac. Thingies. You did curse in case you forgot. You're not allowed to do that. Huh. I'm actually, I'm proud of our protagonist here, though. Yeah, she's really done well. Yep, she's moved on in the world. She's getting a second... No, just her first kid, I think. This is her firstborn. Yep. Maybe her only like born, we don't know. But, you know, her, her first like kid. Was it like insemination or something like that? Yeah. Nice. That's it. Just, just, just nice, you know? Yeah. And here's the dresser. The closet. I have to put up all the hangers first. That's just how I am. If Mac and Lana, I don't know, I'm not gonna like force Mac to watch, obviously, but if Lana, you wanna watch the fucking General's Lady, you just you just tell me whenever you're watching it, and I, I wanna I think know. Lana would actually like that. Lana would- <laughs> I mentioned that like one of the characters is kinda like Morse. That guy's not Morse. I mean, I showed- I, I showed you that one- I don't think I showed you that one scene yet, but I showed it to Bunny and she thought it was kinda cool and badass. 
Maybe also, he's Norse. He's kind of like a badass warrior who wears a mask. Yeah, Morse only wore the mask one time, but we have a story reason for that. Now. Mm. Hey, nice cat. Jesus. What? All the shit they have? Yeah, shit. Yeah, well, they're moving in officially. They're not really moving in officially, but, like, they're moving in, like, as a family. You know, so there's a lot of things that need to be stored. Why does Twitch keep lagging? I have no idea. Like, YouTube's fine. It just, it's just Twitch. <clears throat> what games the do I play The real question is, how can you... Well, the real know. question is, how can you distinguish, like, who's... Like, which ones is which, uh, you know, uh, clothes and all that? Uh, I, I don't. I mix them together, because they're a couple. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. They're Every fucking couple. married. Right? Like, they gotta yeah. be. So, like, they can, they can, you know, they can sort through each other's shit. I mean, if they're getting a kid and all that stuff, like, you know. I don't think they're like, ooh, cooties. Like, it's, they're, they're fine. They can wear the same shit. Yeah. <laughs> or, like, they know whose shit is whose. I'm gonna go through your closet and I'm gonna also, put something on Also, I already know top. whose is whose based on, like, their sock choices. You wanna fucking repeat that? And their underwear choices. You wanna fucking repeat that, cat? Fuck, I, I know exactly which one would pick which one. I know their personalities pretty well based on their outfits. God damn. And their pers God. and their fucking like uh possessions. It's not weird. Unless you make it weird. Nice. a fucking scam. What? Where? It's me. It's me. It's me, not you. Okay. Your order at your order at Chicago Original Italian Beef Stand Mile Post Zero is now ready. Oh, somebody put in the wrong phone. Well, it's gonna suck to be that guy. Yikes. Yep, your order's up, buddy. I don't know who you are. I, I hope you. I hope you get your order of. Chicago's original Italian beef stand. Whatever the fuck that is. Mile post zero. Sucks to suck. Finally, I got through all of that. What? Now it is time to hang it up. I, I noticed like a trend with you. You tend to like taking everything out first. Yeah. Because then if I find another thing that should go somewhere else, I'll be like, oh my god, and I have to reorganize everything to get to that one, like, you know, be like, oh, well, fuck, I gotta move it to that. That's fair. Uh, after this game, what game or list of games do you plan on playing next for your leisure? For leisure. Probably Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Yep. I've been playing The Sims a lot more. I'm in preparation for the high school expansion. Hey. I really want to play that. Not on stream, though, because I really just want to geek the fuck out and not feel like I need to start performing. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know why my, my Sims stream did so good, because it was like... It was entertaining. It was, but like... You do it again. I should, but I don't know what I would do. Just play Sims. Well, I usually like having a story for it. Get this. It's Cat and Davis. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's the story right there. They're still updating the Sims. They're, they're adding more packs and shit to it. That's really good. 
like stuff to do. It's an expansion pack where you can go to school, like high school. There's prom. You can sneak out. Yeah. There's like they social also media. Out. They have boba tea. <laughs> they do have boba tea. Also, uh, cat. Yes, it's me. Um, I know you're a fan of The Sims. And remember what you fucking. In Sims 3, they had, like, this whole, like, supernatural thing where you could be a werewolf, yeah. vampire, and all that shit. and a fairy. Yeah. It's more... I'm not gonna lie. I don't like the fact that they're selling it all separately, but it is more fleshed out in The Sims 4. I disagree. No? Yeah. Sims 4? The way you can turn into a werewolf is getting a bunch of fury. And yep. you get fury by doing the most mundane shit. Yeah, I'm trying to find a mod to disable that, because it's... Also, God help Excuse you for me. a fucking baby. I played that, like, pack, and I got, like, two werewolves together. Who mm -hmm. One of them was upset. They're like, oh, this isn't my fated partner, my fated lover. I feel like I shouldn't be with them. And they were always feeling that mood lit. Because they're not, like, the moon didn't promise them this or whatever the fuck. Like, a weird werewolf thing. So, and then when they, they both went into fury mode, and the baby was, like, fucking starving. And they couldn't do anything. I'm so fucking... Jesus. Also, I wanted fairies for The Sims 4. Because the fairies in The Sims 3 were goaded. I love playing the fucking fairy in The Sims 3. Because <laughs> you could actually fly around. Not even that. Like, they were fun and to be. Like, you know, and like, you know... Just fun. You can have fairy kids. Yeah. And I think we just need to fine tune a couple things. It, it is more fleshed out than The Sims a bit, but Sims Three, I mean. But I do hate the fucking fury system. I think it should only. I think it should only like fill up when you're angry. To be honest, but you know. Yeah, it decides a random. And when there's a full moon. And when there's a full moon, but that's really it. Yes, I voice act Roxanne Wolf for my FNAF Minecraft. Cool. Let's not ask those questions, please. <laughs> You could do crime sims, honestly. Hold up. Crime sims? Like criminal sims or something. Like like like, like mafia sims or some shit, you know? Yeah, you missed out on me talking about like someone asked like if I could do a series, what would I do? I said mm -hmm. mafia. Mafia, yeah, I was there. I was listening. You were listening in? Yeah. I'm just kind of thinking now. This is so cool. What is? Just, just all this in general. What, my, my thing I'm doing? Or something yeah. else you're watching? And what, the thing you're doing, baby. What the fuck would I... What? I don't know. I just thought you were doing something else for a second. No. As long as I'm with you. Ah! You okay? Yeah. But still, I think doing a sim stream would be fun. I could do like wacky voices for you and all that. That could be fun. <laughs> oh, kids, watch out there! <laughs> okay, the, the the fucking closet's done. Time for the bathroom. A toothbrush, hairbrush, toothpaste, makeup, mug. Which I'm going to replace with the mug downstairs. I'm, I'm surprised they have a walk in closet. To be honest, still. My, my parents have one. <laughs> well, yeah, but your parents. It's your parents. That's true. Not every place has a walk in closet, honey. I apologize, that's also true. Yeah. Nothing by and it is pretty cool. Remember in the fucking Zack and Cody when fucking London Tipton has like a walk-in mall or some shit? Yes. 
Well, that shit's weird. <laughs> I'll be honest. I thought, how the fuck was that possible? I don't think it was. I think it's, I think it's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Was it basically a walk-in mall, or was it like... No, uh, I don't I fucking think, know what it yeah. is. Yeah, Hannah Montana had a fucking walk-in closet, too. Yeah. Then again, I think it's just, that's the Disney vibe in general. Well, fucking, um... Several characters, like, several shows didn't have that. Like Zack and Cody. Well, yeah, well, no, Zack and Cody had it. Zack. Ooh. Zack and Cody. Oh, yeah. And, uh... Ashley Tisdale. I don't fucking remember her character's name. <laughs> uh, you mean the person that played the, the, the Maddie? bitch from high school? What? The bit that you mean the bitch that played like the fucking High School Musical chick or something? Yes, yes, her. She played like one of the people who worked at the place. Yeah, I remember. Just... Didn't she have like fourteen names or some shit? No, she had one name. It was Maddie, I think. Yeah, but like middle names and all that. I don't know what I'm talking about. No, that was fucking. That that was not. That Tim's was the guy. No. No. I am. What am I talking about? I'm I know shut what up. character you're talking about. No, no, I I'm know what up. Davis. I I'm know shutting what, up. Davis. I'm shutting up. I know what character you're talking about. That was that was the bellhop. That was the man. The best person in the fucking world was that man. The sexiest man in the world was that man. Julio, something like that, I don't remember. That wasn't his name. It was something like... He had a lot of names. He had a, like, like a fucking mile long name. They're like, shut the fuck up, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the bellhop from Zack and Cody? Yeah. Yeah. Bellhop. Listening to the organization sounds and shit. Yeah, it's great, right? You really just zone into yeah. it. Hey, babe, have you ever played? Baby, have you ever played Papers, Please? Yes, I have. Oh. It stressed me it? the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> to do it right, or like? My moral compass, man. And then I get in trouble for doing like the moral compass thing. Well, yeah. You should do that for a stream, that'd be fun. Watching you have this dilemma. I should, that'd be fun to do. Yeah. <clears throat> Afterwards, after the stream and all that, can you, I want to see your PC, okay? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. <clears throat> This can go, oh wait, oops, oops, this goes up here somewhere. One of these. This can go, uh, here. And this goes there. Perfect. Then this goes all the way back down to the fucking kitchen. Now, to the baby's room. Yay. Esteban, that's his name. The bell Esteban. Hop. Yeah. Esteban. Esteban Julio Ricardo Montoya de la Rosa Ramirez. I got that right. I got that right. 
Look at all the cute little baby clothes. That baby's gonna go through so much. What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I mean. I'm being honest. That's going in my room. Fuck the fuck this kid. This kid ain't getting my my. What do you thing. mean? It's a kid's toy thing. It, that's this has been from. I have had this thing since I was like so like a child. This sticks with me. And that's the kids now. No, it's not the kids now. It's mine. <laughs> I plan to give my kid my my stuffed toy when I was young. Or baby. I know my kid would fucking break mine. And then I'd have a mental breakdown. <laughs> but they'd love those toys again. I want to give them one of their own. That's fair. Did your neighborhood have any creepy urban legends growing up? Nope. I moved around a lot, so even if I fucking did, I didn't stick around long. <laughs> what the, how about the place you uh, maybe the place you were at, maybe? There's a house nearby the one I like I'm currently living in, and it has been under like this guy bought it like years and years ago. He said he was gonna flip it, and he hasn't really done any work on it, and. We don't see anybody there ever, so it just looks fucking creepy. So there's a bunch of fucking rumors about that shit, but I guess the dude doesn't want to finish the project. Ah, oh, damn. I buy Mac. Hi, Mac. Also, if you don't want to give the kid any toys, why don't we just drop the kid the fucker out of here? They can have toys, they just can't have my sentimental, like, flush toys. <laughs> Oh, nice. <sighs> oh, sorry. What if you have to give him the toy? What do you mean, have to? What world would I have to give somebody something? Well, I you had to hide away the diploma. That's... I would not let my kid take it then. If they're like, I want this, I'll be no, like, No, I meant like in this shit. context. In this game. Oh, I know you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck would I make you? Cat, you're gonna give him your long, long spree. You're gonna give him your long toy. Your precious toy. Otherwise, I'm gonna be angry. Love you. Love you. I'm just focusing. Cause we're almost there. At the end of the thing? Yes. Nice. You sure you can't put the blocks like underneath the... I have tried. <laughs> oh. That, seemed like, that would seem like the best place to put it, though. Whatever. Yeah, it would, right? But no. That, that's... Only fools think of things like that, apparently. Oh, the, this shit. I forgot to put that in the closet. Um, that goes there. That goes there. That can go there. I don't think I've ever had a that goes to the child. Nah. Hey, cat. Well? Well? Where does the circle go? In the square hole. That's right, into the square hole. Where does the rectangle go? Hmm? That's right, in the square into the hole. square hole. Where did the triangle go into? That's right, That's into the square hole. hole. <laughs> you know, I had to test. I had to. I had to test out to see if it, if it all went to the square hole. It does, cat. <laughs> It does. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Where's the game?
GameCube or any other console thing. I got upgraded. We're so looking forward to meeting you. Aw, this is a little album for them. Oh, that's cute. That was the game. I wish I had more levels because I'm an addict. I'm an addict. Obsessed with I'm organization. Obsessed. Yeah, I love organizing things. I'm a little crazy. So, yeah. you know me. I know. It's a pretty simple concept for a game, too. Let me show you what happens at the end when you go back to it. Oh. Look! Look at him! I wish I could see right now, but... I know, you can't escaping. yet, but when you see it, it'll be cute. I promise. Okay. It's precious as fuck. Oh, I see. I see. It's so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful, beautiful young lad. I think or that's madam. pretty much all from us right now. I mean, it was a three-hour stream, longer than any other stream I've done before. I feel like because I got into it. <laughs> You're playing catch up. <laughs> yeah, playing catch up a little. So, with that being said, it was super awesome vibing with everybody. Um, but I'll be chilling now. I'm gonna go hang out. But. I'll be seeing you guys later, so yeah, thanks for hanging again, everybody. I'll see you guys next time. Later, so, skaters. Bye! Yo.